wait, it's too funny. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I, could, I couldn't wait for you guys to see the rest of that intro. I had to show you T's hair. And I'm busy talking. I'm busy talking. I said, Mama G's in the house. Hold on a second. I just saw <laughs> Mama G. Hi. Look at, look at T's hair. I've been back here for 10 minutes listening to you guys. It's like, it's like she's back in the 80s. <laughs> I thought I thought I'd try something different. <laughs> Just flatten it a little bit. I thought I'd try something different. <laughs> All right, let me just let me just see. The eighties is calling, right? <laughs> the eighties is calling. I had my. What did you? What, how did you get it to look like that? Because I had my hair up all day in a ponytail, so <laughs> just like this is how it felt when I I just like. Pulled my hairbrush over, <laughs> flipped it back, and I said, oh, I'll throw some hairspray in it, and I'll leave it like this. It reminds me of something. <laughs> <laughs> what does it remind you of? I don't know, but it reminds me of something. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, um, Jim Carrey in <laughs> one of those movies where his hair is, like, <laughs> perfect like that. I don't know one of Jim oh. Carrey's movies. I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. She came on the screen and I'm like, she started oh. laughing. I know. I'm like, she started she was laughing like, at me. Huh? She started she comes, laughing. She comes walking up the stairs yelling, F you. I'm like, F you too. <laughs> yelling, F you too. And then she sits down and she looks like that. And I'm like, what I was just cursing my hairbrush out. That's all. What happened to you? What happened to you? No, it looks beautiful, T. I'm only joking. Doesn't it look beautiful? You, you know what? Time? I don't even care. <laughs> Tell her how beautiful what? it looks. It oh. Why are you crying? Because <laughs> I'm just laughing. <laughs> hey, James Cisco. Oh, God. Thank you, KK. <laughs> I know it's like seven years bad luck if you break a mirror, but how many years is it bad luck if you drop a rosary on the floor? Oh, okay, I got him. I'm okay. We'll be fine. Hey. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. Now that we've completely broken format. <laughs> Mama G? For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> he was talking, I had to wait. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, KK, welcome in. Dora, hello, Joe, no, Renee, hey, Renee, I hope you guys had a successful auction today, <clears throat> they were on, um, I think, all afternoon, right, are they done, they were, they were on all afternoon, let's see what KK is saying here, I'm back and just going to listen in the background, all right, you do that, thank you for being here, Kathy, you don't have to sit in the corner and not talk, though. Feel free to chime in and join the crowd. You're Excellent. good. Rhonda, hello, sweetheart. Donna Dancer. <laughs> That's so funny that it doesn't come up. Renee, how was your auction today? Yep. Same question I just asked. Let's see. I was so busy getting ready for mine tonight. Awesome, KK. Yeah. KK. Don't forget, Kathy's having her benefit auction tonight, guys. We can't put it in the in the. We can't drop the link, yeah. or I would. I, actually, I, Kathy, I tried to see if you even made the stream yard yet. I didn't see it. Oh, it's out. I can is it out? It. I had copied it and I tried dropping it over and over and over, and it wouldn't work. Oh, okay. Hi, Boatman, Boatman. Hey, Boatman, Boatman. Welcome in, James Cisco. What is happening? They started on time. Laugh out loud. Ha, ha, ha. I know, I cut her off right in the middle of a sentence. Hi, Jen Bennett. T, Thanks. it looks nice, she says. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. I know who my real friends are. <laughs> I was making fun of her. I got a good hey, laugh. Hey, Ruth. Have a picture. Awesome, Ruth. Nice picture. Awesome. Perlini is in the house. Sabrina, Carrie, hello, sweetheart. 
out country sales. Hello, That's Devin. I, I, I don't know if Devin's, um, I don't know if he ever registered with us. Let us know, Devin. I'm not sure. Welcome, Devin. You would have made a great school teacher because you remember everybody's first names. I was a teacher. That's how I do that. Oh, okay. I Hi, mean, I, I consider myself 10 years as a, I, I was a corporate trainer, but you know, I, I, I did adult learners and I had to remember everybody's name for a week, you know? Hi, Tammy. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Tammy. Vintage memories. Donna, whenever a holy rosary is dropped, pick it up and kiss the crucifix and cross yourself. May the Holy Trinity only family bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, honey, for that. I probably should know that. I'm such a bad Catholic. Such a bad Catholic. Bolo Buddies is in the house. Hey, Courtney. She bolo busted me, dropping the rosary. Let's see, Perlini, I said hi, Ruth Bond, hello, welcome in, oops, Lucas D, hello, hey, welcome. Lucas. Hey, Lucas, I put your um, one bottle of cologne that you won in with JJ stuff, so make sure you go over there and get it, so I didn't have to wait for you to spend $30. You know, <clears throat> craziest um, thing, I just dropped that whole thing from Courtney that she yeah. did yesterday, I saved it, it worked. Oh, but if I try to shorten it at all, it will not work. If I try to take some of her words out, it won't work. Huh. Weird. Interesting. Um, hey, Froggy. Uh, Thor never came back for me to have his address. Remember, he gave me the 20. He bought the shirt for 15. Oh, and yeah. Sent me the $20 super chat and was like, just, you know, keep the super chat for the shirt and right. but we never had a registration on him or right. So I feel bad. If anybody sees Thor around town, please let him know. I have his shirt and I'd like to send it to him. Fancy pinks. Hello. Fancy, fancy. June bug. What a nice message you sent me. Thank you, sweetheart. You're so sweet. Thank hey, June bug. Bonnie Worley. Hello, Bonnie. Hey, oh, that's a cute picture with the Christmas tree and the three children. Hi, Gail. Welcome in. Hey, Gail. Just Jackie. Hello, sweetheart. Good to hey, see Jackie. you. I hope things are well with you. Thinking of you. All right. If I missed anybody, please forgive me. I didn't do it intentionally. Janine. Hi, Janine. I want to make sure I said hi to Janine because then she's like, I've been here for a half an hour, Donna. Pay attention. <laughs> Pay attention. Okay, you guys. If I missed anybody, please. James S. says you got to use Bitly to shorten URLs right now. Okay. Susan Arrington. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, Susan. Welcome, hey, in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Okay. Hey, so Chris Hunter. See, I don't even see that yet. There's Thrift Hunter. So you saw it. You're on, you must be on YouTube. I am. Yeah. Yeah. You saw it way before I did on StreamYard. So we must have a delay. Will you check the delay on it? Mm -hmm. Thomas Klein. Welcome. Hey, Thomas. Welcome in. Okay, thank you everyone for being here. If there's anyone that needs to register, I did not put the registration link in the chat. Mama G, can does it? Will, will it? That's um, what I just dropped. What Courtney had is what I just dropped. Oh, that was okay. Awesome. I wasn't sure what it was. Here. Hey, Jill, welcome in, honey. Good hey, to Jill. see you. Good to see you. Okay, oh, I gotta go take care of this. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Where are you? Really, Renee? Renee said we had a bad leg for the last two days. Okay. okay Okay. 
I am back. I am back. I am back. KK with the two dollar super sticker. Hey you. Oh, thank you, KK. You're so sweet. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Hey Connie. Thank you so much. I hear something running. Like a motor. Is it in your lava lamp? No. Sounds like it's coming from the computer. Sounds it like could be a your fan. fan. No, I, I don't have a laptop. I have a PC. You still have a fan. Never heard it before. I don't know where it's coming from. My feelings, you know, are just some people that come into your life that have the ability to bring so much sunshine to you and that washes away the storm inside of you. Junebug, your 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 little phrases are so deep. You hear it, Tammy? It almost we all like, hear it. You all hear it? Yeah. It almost sounds like water running, right? No, it sounds like a fan in your computer. It's not. Sounds like it's coming from behind the wall. Oh, God. <laughs> What's on the Did other we... side of that wall? My foyer. It's a bomb! No, <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> so weird. You hear it? Yeah. From the keyboard? Is, maybe something's about to go. <laughs> Wait. They're it's saying not. you. It was my keyboard. Oh. You, you hear it stopped? It stopped. I picked up my keyboard and it stopped. You guys, you don't hear it anymore, right? Does your keyboard have a battery in it? Nope. Nope, it's connected. No, I still hear it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Do you still hear it? I don't hear it anymore. I hear it. Oh, now I hear it again. Donna, mute yourself and see if it's you. If it's you. It stopped. It's it me. It's me. <laughs> Is it you, T? It's me. It's my fan. It's my fan. fan? I thought, oh my God, it sounds like it's coming. It's, it must be coming from my computer speakers and it's, it stopped. It's you. I'm not muted. I don't hear it right now. No, because the fan's not on right now. I'll tell you when the fan comes on. Is that your new computer? And it, and you're having the camera problem and a fan problem? No, the fan always comes on. It's normal for a laptop. That loud? It's not really that loud. It just it must pick through the microphone. I have an external mic that I keep meaning to plug in that I got as a gift, which I can do if it's really annoying people. No, it's not annoying me. It sounded to me, it sounded like it was there was water running inside my walls. That's what it sounded like. It didn't sound like a ticking. It sounded like water. So strange. Your blue lights are spinning. What blue lights? Oh, yeah, this, that always spins. That's been spinning forever. No, it stopped. It was tea. Donna, she's faking you out because she teased, because you teased her about her hair. Oh, you knew it was you the whole time? I had a feeling. Uh -huh. Well, All I right. didn't know that. Sorry, Donna. Bobby says she still hears it. I don't hear it. I think it's gone. 
I think it's gone. All right, you guys, I'm going to do some one-offs. I'm going to do some small, um, low-priced items because I know a lot of people... <laughs> it's gone, right, Ruth? Yeah, it's gone now, right, Bobby? So, right? Thank you, Rhonda. Rhonda says right? hugs, Donna. I'm so gullible. Now what are you doing? <laughs> Hello? Can you guys hear me? 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. I can't hear you now. You can't hear no? Shoot. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can. <laughs> hold on. I hear you, G. Mama, you G. Mama, G. You spoil that. Hi, Ken. <laughs> she can't hear us. It doesn't matter. If we Gary's can. like, what is going on? You guys, stop. Let's trick her when she gets back. Let's make believe she, we don't hear her. Tell her we can't hear her. Drive her crazy. She's gone. She's not in the green room or anything. She, she went completely out of the studio. <laughs> I shrike her. <laughs> well, it's not like I could shake my head and pretend to be talking Shh, like you were. I know, but don't say anything. All right. I'm going to mute myself. Shh. Bye. I can't hear you. All right. I'm going to have to disconnect this because I can't hear you guys. I don't know why. I don't know why. I can't hear you. You, you keep muting me. You keep muting me. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> I can hear you. Because <laughs> you don't know how to do it without whispering. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. muted yourself. <laughs> <laughs> look at everybody was gonna <laughs> look at everybody was playing wrong. Everybody was playing along. <laughs> yeah. Hi Sandy. Sandy's like, oh Sandy, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something. So so I was with my daughters this afternoon. We went out to do a quick errand and Lolo's with us too. And they were talking about something and a few minutes went by and then I chimed in with a comment about what they were talking about. And my daughter looks at me and she's like a little on delay mama. And I said, and I was thinking of Sandy and I said, I'm lagging. And she goes, you're what? And I said, I'm lagging. She goes, do you know what that means? And I said, <laughs> I don't know, but everybody uses it in my chat. Does it mean something different than what it's supposed to mean? And my daughter was like, forget it, mama. So I guess we're going to have to look in the Urban Dictionary and see what it means amongst teenagers when you say you're lagging, because I didn't have a chance to look. So one of you look up ninjas, look and see what it means to teenagers when you say you're lagging. Hey, Brad, welcome in. Hey, Brad. Oh, Brad, I love your new logo. Pit this, pit the speaker on that you want. I did, I did, but for whatever reason, I I went into the back. All right, so I'm plugging it in. I'm plugging the microphone in, right? I'm plugging the microphone in. Now, when I plug it in, do you still hear me? Yes. Okay. I can still hear you too, but I don't know. Let me just go back to the YouTube. Ooh, but you sound so different. Stop it. Just you do. You, you sound very broadcasty. <laughs> yeah, you do. Doesn't she, Mama G? It's different. You sound very broadcasty. 
I know it's working because I can see. I can see it. Okay, I can see it now. All right, now it's working. It's working. Did right. you change it? Did you change it in your camera mic setting on on Streamyard? Are you being serious with me right now? What? Are you being serious with me right now? Yeah. No, you're not. I can I hear have, you. No, but I have to change my camera and mic every single time I go into. Go on on your Streamyard window. Yeah. Go to where it says Cam Mic. Click on Cam Mic. And what does it say there? Now if I unplug it, I can hear you. Are you being a brat? Are you really being a brat? No. no. I'm just, I'm a G, what am I doing? I'm just trying to help her. Really, I have to have every time because I wear the headphones, I have to change it through StreamYard, the cam and mic setting. Is that what lagging means to be extremely drunk with the kids? Oh, that's why somebody said have more fireball. Oh, is that why? So when you say that, okay, try talking now, T. Let's get this figured out. Do not read what else Rhonda wrote. Do not read what else. <laughs> Do not read it. Chesie, are you watching? What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? My friend? Well, stop laughing. <laughs> Hi, Eric. This is Robin, not Eric. So, hi, Robin. Welcome in. You have to change it in the seat. That's what I told her, brat. She has... Brat. <laughs> brat. <laughs> That's what I told her. You have to change it in your StreamYard settings. Did you do it? Unplug the mic, T. Barely. Hi, Leon. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Hey, Big Mama. Can you hear me now? Yes, T. What are you going to do? Hold it up to your mouth every time you want to talk? <laughs> are you that kidding me? It's messed up. All right. We'll play with it in the green room another day. All right. I Elizabeth. was hoping it would just avoid the, com the computer. I know, right? My daughter was like, she was horrified. She wouldn't even tell me. She's like, oh, yeah, mama, no, don't say that. Right? Ronnie G's the original lagger. It doesn't say any of the chit in my urban dictionary, Tammy says. Um, oh no, oh, oh no, now till you can take the trophy away from me, please. <laughs> she doesn't want the trophy anymore. Hi, Nola. So sorry for what, honey? Hey, Nola. Hey, late night. Hey, late night. Welcome in. I don't know how to change over my name, so I guess I'll just be Eric for now. Laugh out loud. <laughs> okay, Robin. Thanks for coming in. All right, you guys. Well, now that we've got that all straightened out. That's Robin? No, Robin. So Eric must be... Um, well, she said this is Robin, not Eric. So this must be Eric's account, but maybe that's Ro that's Robin with oh, the hair. Okay. Because okay. she said that she can't switch over accounts right now. So Shelly says, I just asked my kids. What did the kids say? What did your kids say, Shelly? My kids said, Who asked you about lagging? My kids were horrified <laughs> when I said it. I don't know. I didn't look it up. So Tammy says it doesn't say that. Courtney says it doesn't say that. But I don't know. Rhonda looked it up and she got a different a different um, thing about it. Yes, that's right. 
So Robin is on Robin's on the right with the red hair. All right. So yeah, if you go up to your picture, Robin, in YouTube, you can change you can change your settings there. You can pick a different um, channel. In Australia, it means to snitch. Huh. She goes, Ronnie G goes, I don't care. I'll be the queen lagger. Okay, Shelly, Ronnie. <laughs> Shelly, Shelly said they told her to get out of the chat. No, Shelly. <laughs> oh, my God. You're kidding. I know. Rhonda says, my daughter is 24. That's how I know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm telling you. My daughter, like, whipped her. She whipped around and looked at me, and she's like, why are you saying that? Do you know what that means? Oh my God. I, I think I know what it means. So funny. Yeah. You know, the kids, they have different sayings for different things. All right, you guys. Kind of so, like my humping. Everybody gets offended when I say I have to hump today. Right. We kind of like it when you're humping. <laughs> we don't have a problem with that. Um, where did I leave off this morning? Mama G, do you remember? Yeah, she put it in the private chat. Oh, she did? 10. Did I do 10? Let me see. Um, I think I did 10. Today's the 19th, right? Yeah, 19, 19. Yeah, I did 10. So I'm on number 11. No, 15. I did 15 today. I did 15 this morning. 15. I'm on number 16. Right, Mama G? Uh-oh, I can't hear Mama G now. Can you hear me now? No, I can. Yeah. Okay. No, I thought yes. she put it in the private chat. Was I seeing things, Mama G? It's down in D16 is the next lot. 16. Oh, maybe because I left and came back, I can't see it anymore? Yeah, I'm on 16. Okay. All right. This, I think so I'm, I'm on 7. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go ahead and start, you guys. No. Um, Mama G9? What? T. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start. <clears throat> Are you all set, T, with your problems? Are you good? No, now? I'm really not. Wrong. Are you okay? Are you all right? Is everything okay? Do you have problems? You need to go get a martini or something. <laughs> Chill out. Take a deep breath. Okay. I so have I have so many problems. Um, So I have this here. $5 start. Um, I'll show you what it is with the Donna Loop. It's a genuine Harley Davidson original. I'm going to just do some small one-offs tonight, you guys, so that you guys can um, uh, 2000 Harley Davidson official licensed product. $5 start. $5 start on the, it's a money clip. It's a money clip. Too bad I didn't find these before Christmas, right? This would have made a nice present for, um, they were just in my garage. Who's on first, right? Okay. Harley Davidson. It's still in its original packaging. Uh, let's go in $2 increments, you guys. Jade Boone's in for seven. Ronnie's in for 10. All right, Ronnie. Thank you. Sandy Kirk, wake up. Pay attention. It's teas. We know. <laughs> Julie, thanks for coming in, honey. She just got the notification. Wow. Yeah, I hear it. The noise is back. I hear it. Okay, we have KK in at 12. I love the sound. It's comforting, Jade says. Jade, did you go hiking today, honey? Donna, pay attention. What am I doing? She said, told us she lost two and a half pounds this morning after her hike. Oh, she did? I didn't read that. All yeah, right, I'll do it too. Anyone else? Anyone else? $12? Harley Davidson money clip? Hey, Mary Ness. Who, um, who's winning it? KK? Yes. Hi, Mary Ness. Okay, we're going once, we're going twice. And 
We are. Sandy, you're lagging. Oh, fortune to Julie Morris. Julie Morris comes in. Sandy, I'm only busting your balls. KK's Please. out. All right, we're going to sell it to. Nope, Thrift Hunter is going to come in for 16. Oh, thank you, Thrift Hunter. Eighteen from Julie. <laughs> Sandy. That's what I love about you, Sandy. We're you new. Never opened. New old stock. Dare you to brush your hair over your face. Thanks, Carl. One, two, three. <laughs> I don't think so, Carl. <laughs> but thank you for joining. All right, let's sell it. Let's sell it. Carl, one, two, three, you first. Thrift Hunter is out. Julie is at 18. $18 going once, going twice. And I don't know if I have a bag for Julie. I know I have a bunch of stuff out there. I'll just make her a bag. <sighs> Julie Morris. Congratulations, Julie. All right, guys. I have one more. Who else wants one for $18? I have one more. Well, let's offer it first to Thrift Hunter. Only fair he was the backup bidder. Well, actually, Julie gets first choice. Oh, yes, that's true. Julie, if you want two. This is the second one. Do you want two or just one? No, she only wants one. Thrift Hunter, do you want one for 18? He's the backup bidder. Okay, Julie, I got you for one for one. No, thanks. Okay, does anybody want one for 18? I've got one left. Just write me in the chat if you want it for eighteen dollars. Just can't get warm today, right, Perlini? Okay, nobody wants it. All right, that's fine. Let's put it away. Um. Okay, let's hi, do. Hi. Let's hi Heidi. Let's do this money clip next. It's leather. It's an excellent condition. Oops, upside down. I'm going to start this one at $5 too. Oh, it's still upside down. Cheapers, creepers, what is wrong with me? Um, there it is. Oh, no, Michael. Jade Mood comes in at 22. She's power bidding. She's like, I want that so Well, Julie started the power bid at 20. Yes, she did. Julie now she's at 25. <clears throat> and the magnet on it is really great. It's super strong. You can hear how strong it is. Jade says out, but thank you. Um, <clears throat> Harley Davidson makes nice quality stuff. All right. We're going to call it. The leather clip. And it's going to go to Julie also. For 25. All right, Julie. Thank you so much. 
And keeping with the Harley Davidson theme, I've got one more. Uh, I'm sold. KK comes in for 30. Ooh, KK. Ooh, sniper. KK is a sniper. She said, I'm going to sit quietly in the corner. She's a sniper. Now that's a power bed, right? All right. <clears throat> Julie's going to be out. Out. Okay. KK got set. Okay. Right into KK's bag. the whole thing i'm just putting sold and then i'll have to go back and put the lot number. don't worry okay so this is the last one that i have um cleaning it up a little bit and it's pretty awesome i do have to say but it's really really strong as well it's another leather one, and this one has a skull on it, and it's a Harley Davidson as well. And let's start this at 10. Harley Davidson motorcycles, and then there you have it right there. And this one is Hey, Craig Wolf. Thanks for coming in. Welcome. Wow, 90 of you here tonight. Thank you guys so much. Awesome. Hi, Elsie. Thanks for coming in. Okay, 10 to Andrea Baker. This is the last one I have. Any DVDs? Oh, um, not here, but I do have, T probably has a bunch of DVDs. Did you bring some more DVDs? I did. Okay, good. T has them for tonight. I do, but they're in my mini storage. They're not, I don't have them here. But T has, T's, T's had some awesome DVDs. I've she got some horror ones tonight. Do you? Yeah, she's had some complete series and sets and like all kinds of stuff. Like really awesome titles too. All right, Jade is at 17. It's so funny. Ever since I started watching the girls and you do in the volleyball games, I keep getting recommendations on YouTube to watch volleyball games. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Do you hear how strong it is? The magnet on it, it's like yeah. super, super magnetized. Andrea's in for 19. Oh, so did Carrie and Jen say me too? That is so funny. See, I don't get any because I don't watch them. I just record. I don't I don't watch other volleyball games. <laughs> Ronnie, <laughs> what is that? Never mind. Don't explain it to me. <laughs> They, they know exactly what we're watching, Michael. You're absolutely 100% correct. Craig says, I haven't gotten my one box of DVDs from a couple of weeks ago. I have it here. I don't, was it, has it already been a couple of weeks ago? I have it sitting here waiting to invoice you and ship it out. I was trying to get all my Christmas orders done and out. Craig, was it a couple of weeks ago? I thought it was just this past week that you bought that. I'm sorry it took so long. But I have it. Ready to go. All right. Who's winning it? Andrea at $19. Lot number 18, Harley leather clip congratulations andrea 19 dollars. thank you andrea okay t take it over if you're ready are you there yes 
Oh, I guess I have to put you on. Yes, <laughs> it's your channel tonight, Donna. It's my channel. I forget. I forget from one channel to the other. I forget whose channel we're on. All right. I'm All just right. gonna start it out. I'm just gonna start it out with a bang tonight. Yeah. Oh gosh, a bang. <laughs> Okay, it's not all wearable, but there's 925, there's gold, and I can tell you there is a um, Movado watch in here. This is stuff I found in these storage units. I'm just throwing it in here. It, it, a lot of it probably has to be fixed or repaired, like the watches. Um it's, it, there's a lot of vintage jewelry, but maybe stones missing or class, class broken. Um, but I'm not fooling with any of it. You know me and jewelry. We just, just, it is what it is. So $25 ship to start. I mean, these, these, there's, there's this probably, um, they're probably sterling earrings in here. I don't know 100%, but I left them in the box, and it, it says Dr. Richard Zito on it. it from, it's from 1922. I have to say. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. So Craig says, no, it wasn't yours. I was just remember. I think it's Michael Wayland that the DVDs I sold to last week that are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Michael Whalen. Michael Whalen bought DVDs from me two days ago or three days ago, but... Um, I'm not shipping them yet either, Michael, because it was 25 and we're going with the 30. Yeah. So, um, and Susan Arrington, I, I have your stuff. I, I, you have a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to send you a, a, a itemized, um, um, invoice. I didn't think that you needed it for Christmas. So I was really concentrating, um, to get my Christmas orders out. And Michael says, no, don't, don't ship it. I know. Okay. Okay, you've got um, Barb Lee at $30. It's not a guarantee, Mahava, whatever watch. The jar is not included. No, the jar is never included. Um, no, I know nothing about jewelry. Am I guaranteeing it's anything? No, I'm just telling you based on what is marked on the stuff, what it says on, on, on the stuff. However, with that being said, I'm just going to add to it that the storage unit that she bought, the I guy bought it from a collector. He, I bought it from a collector. So yeah. he was a true collector. So I mean, not to say that a collector doesn't have no, no because we found out one of the pocketbooks in there that he paid up for. It was wasn't it, what he yeah. what it was supposed to be. So right. so you just never know. No. You never know. So it's like, like I always say, you guys, it's like buying a lottery ticket. You just don't know what you're going to get. Just I mean, like I'm just telling you what I've seen marked on this and um, which one, Courtney, there's at least two in here. There's at least two pocket watches in here. Um, Are those the one that say that name? No, Movado doesn't make Movado. No, no, I don't know what black, this one is. Black face watches with a usually a little diamond chip or sometimes just a gold plate. Movados used to be so popular in the eighties. In the eighties, right? Yeah, I wanted one so bad, but they were so flipping expensive. I know my girlfriend got one and I was like, Oh God. And by the time I could, you so know, I this is the watch. And like I said, see, everything has an issue. See this, the, see the chain on this one. It's not a watch. See, it's not even a watch. I thought it was a watch. See this. I didn't look at anything. It's a compact, I think, unless the other side opens a compact where it's a mirror thing. Oh. See, here I thought it was a watch because I didn't look at anything. I just threw it all in here. I got one at Macy's 50% off. Yeah, well, the box said 450 at Macy's. That's what I can tell you. That's what I can tell you. I took it out of the box and just threw it in here. Oh, yeah, see, because this, this is definitely a pocket watch down here, but one of the... Um, Hinges is off. You put a picture of a lock of hair in that? No, Michael. <laughs> no, 
Oh, did it, is that what it sounded like I said? Is that what it sounded like I said? No, he's telling you that that's what that little thing was for, was to put a picture or a piece of hair in. The little locket thing that you said might be a compact. Oh, I thought maybe it, because people say I talk like, you know, with an accent. That's what they thought. <laughs> See, just keep showing until I get back. I'm going into the garage for a minute. All righty. I'm going to put together a dibble lot. No tea. You can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it. Oh, yeah. We're definitely doing a desk dibble. I promised you guys that tonight. <laughs> I promised you guys that tonight for sure. For sure, for sure. All right. Where are we with the bids? Vintage Memories is at 50. Everybody's done and done. Oh, okay, you do. That's right, Michael. I should know that, right? <laughs> Movado is still popular in the hip hop. Really, Renee? Yeah, it had a following. It, well, obviously, it still does. Hey, toilet girl, what's up, Scarlet? Hi, honey. All right, we selling this? Selling, selling, selling. Vintage Memories is going to get it. Whoop, whoop. Oh, well, I don't know that unless you tell, tell us that. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Nice deal, Vintage Memories. You're going to... You're going to do really well. I mean, you will have to repair some stuff, but it's all well. Good stuff. All right. All right. Let's see who's interested in coins. All right. So this is a jar of coins. Most of them, if not, oh, I'm going to say 80% of them are foreign coins. Um, I think there's just two or three, maybe silver half dollars or, um, if I can, can grab what I think is that, mm, no, that's foreign. A lot of it's foreign. I, I just threw again, more jewelry that I found in the unit in bags and things like that. I just threw it all in here rather than show you guys piece by piece. Unless there's something you see that you want me to take out, just let me know. We'll start it at 20. Hey, Blandine. Hi, honey. Oh, Mama G's going to start us out at 20. Thank you, Mama G. Susan Arrington's in for 22. Mama G's in at 25. Thank you. Hey, Thomas. Hi, honey. If there's a few euros in there, it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're all, like I said, for most part, I think there's, again, a, a 50 cent piece, a dollar in American. But for most, most of it is all foreign coin. Most of it is all foreign coin. Mama G's in for 30. Sounds like a kitty purring, laugh out loud. Not here. No kitties, no animals in this house. Hey, Jeff. No, my fan isn't on right now. It's actually off at the moment. 
What, Mama G, do you hear noise? It did for like two seconds and it stopped again. Oh, it does, Rhonda? Janine's yelling at you, Mama G. <laughs> Janine, all she wants, because if you go back to the chat and refresh, I was 30 before anybody else came in at 29. It's okay. We're going to take Mama's 30. <laughs> we're, we're good. Susan Aaron was 29. Oh, Sandy, stop. 32 from Susan Arrington. Yeah, not on my screen either, Janine, but I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> oh, sorry, Scarlett. Hey, Carla. All right, we're going to call to Mama G. Right, Ronnie? I was wrong though. Susan had me beat on that one when I refreshed and went back and looked. I know, I know. I really did have to come in higher. That's all right. It's, it's, you know what? You might have come in at the same time. That's a lot of times you'll see it first too if you came in at the same time, which is fine. Um, we're not worried. We're just sold to Mama J. It's all good. Yeah, that stinks. That stinks. That stinks. That stinks. All right, let's do some DVDs. Somebody asked. So this is what you're going to get. All right. I think, let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, of which there are lots of new sealed. Okay. American Horror Story Asylum, the complete second season. Well, this really isn't, I don't know how this landed up in here, but we'll throw it in there anyway. Flight of the Concords, the complete first season. And then we got a three disc special of The Walking Dead, the complete first season. I could never watch that. What, The Walking Dead? No, I never mm -hmm. saw it either. No, I, I couldn't watch it. I watched one show and turned it off and was like, I can't do this. Because you were scared or? Yeah, because yeah, it was too gory. Okay. Hi, Woodbine Girl. Hi, Scarlet. A Turn new on. level of terror, P2. Wishmaster 3. Nightmare on Elm Street. When a stranger calls, are these sealed? Um, I didn't get to the sealed ones yet. Okay, how much did you start the lot for, honey? Twenty. Okay. This one is no session nine. I'm just not opening them because I did check them all. Session nine. The last house on the left. That's where I lived. I the grew up in the street. last house on the left. I did in the street that I lived on. Um, I was the first house on the right. <laughs> <laughs> I lived on a one-way road, and I was the last house on the left. It just, just the look of this one would not interest me at all. <laughs> all right, now the rest are sealed. 
The rest are completely new, brand new. Children of the Corn 4. This one is for horror film collector set. I saw it and it scared me for life. The Midnight Horror Collection. Masters of Terror. H2O Halloween. 20 years later, Tammy says, we're the third house on the list. Shelly says, Scooby-Doo scares me. Horror collector set. And I don't know if this is the same as the other one or it's a different one. No, it looks like it's, it's different. Um, Masters of Terror again. Well, that's what you guys get. Elizabeth, me too. I, um, me too. No scary, no clowns. <laughs> All right. You got Jenny at 22. Michael's out. All right. We'll call it to Jenny. I hate the music even, Pearl Nini. Wow. Really? Interesting. Hi, Carla. Hi, Frank. Thanks for coming in. Awesome, you guys. 101 of you in the chat. For those of you that um, weren't on this morning, I want to apologize for canceling last night. I just was tired and overwhelmed, and so was T from working so hard on her storage units. All right. We're sold to Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Um, I guess I'm showing again because it sounds like somebody's eating. Mm. You can tell? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to show everybody what I'm eating. This is my favorite thing to eat during the holidays. Does anybody know what this is? Put it in the chat if you know what it is. Bobby knows. Who else knows? Perlini knows probably. Thank you, Perlini. Who knows what this is? That's all I'm going to show you. It's not fruit cake, you fruit cake. It's not fruit cake. Panadone. That's right, Pammy. You guessed it. It's my favorite thing to eat during the holidays. Oh hey, my Pam, God. Hey, Paula. <laughs> oh, I behave so badly with it. Oh, so good. I haven't had dinner yet. This is like my dinner. All right. As promised earlier, I'm going to show you. Um, I've got these are Oscar de la Rente. It's a belt. And... If you guys need a measurement, I can measure it. Um, there's two belts. The third one's going to be a gift, and I'm going to show you why. The third one's going to be a gift in the lot. Froggy, no, I kind of... Let me show Julie what it is. She's like, what the heck is that? I don't know what it is. Panettone. It's, um, it's kind of like a fruit bread, like Rhonda said. But it's got raisins and pieces of dried fruit in it. And it's a nice, soft, spongy um, bread kind of thing. That's no, Tammy, this one is not missing stones. This one is not missing stones. The, the one that I'm throwing in as a gift is. Okay, this one is not missing any stones. All right. That's the first one from Oscar. This is the second one. This one doesn't have stones, just a very pretty design. 
it's kind of like a copper tone. And this is a tag on that one. Bobby said she never liked it. I don't like like fruit cake and any of that. I, that would never be my thing. The only thing I like, because I, again, you know, it's the one thing Donna and I don't have in common. And I grew up Irish pretty much. And she grew up Italian. So, you know, my mother boiled everything. <laughs> but my grandmother did make a mean Irish soda bread. And that I do like. Um, so the one I am going to throw in is beautiful. But I... I'm just going to just consider it a gift because of the two missing stones on it. It almost looks marcasite, but it's really, it really is pretty, but I don't know if you can get, you know, because they're vintage, I don't even know if you can get, but they're all Oscar de la Rente. And um, that's what that one looks like. But again, I'm just throwing this one as an, in a gift. Can you hear me now? Now we can. Tammy said the other um, belt buckle. It's not missing any stones. It's not okay. missing any stones. There were no stones missing in that. Is there another one before that? No, the other one doesn't have stones. Okay. The other one is just um, just a design, and this was the second one I showed. Okay. Hmm. T, are they all Oscar yes, de la Rente? Yes, all three of them, yes. You guys, this is a great deal. Oscar de la Rente is really, really nice quality product an excellent beautiful designer so again yeah th this is not um this is just a copper there's no stones on this one this is just a copper tone one um <clears throat> this is the one that i'm just throwing in but i just want you guys to see it because it is beautiful um but I can't charge anybody for this because of the missing stones. You know, unfortunately, even though this guy was a collector and he knew his stuff and he knew these things, for whatever reason, he just found things like and threw them in the unit. Like he had no organization at, at all. <laughs> no organization at all. It's like... Barb, they're belts, honey. They're not necklaces. Yeah, no, no, belts, belts, belts. They're belts. Oh, God, I don't know if anybody could wear this as a necklace, Barb. It'd be awful heavy to walk around. I mean, maybe Cleopatra. I could definitely see her wearing this. <laughs> this there's really only two. I'm throwing in that third one in, flipping it good. I'm throwing that third one in. I, I just consider that one a gift because I can't charge anybody for that one just because of the missing stones. I'm just going to include it. And, you know, I mean, you still get, you still get bucks. It's, you know, if you get the stones fixed. Hey, Misha. Hi, honey. As built way too small. <laughs> right. You got to sell them, Jenny. All right, we're going to give them to Tammy, and we are going to give them to Tammy. <laughs> For Twiggy, right? Yeah, see, it's a shame that these are missing. And you know what? They could be on the storage unit floor somewhere because just the way he put these things, he just, was just very, very careless with some things. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a beautiful belt. It really is. It shines really nice, really pretty. But Bobby saying pizzelles, pizzelles. They look like fancy horse accessories. I don't know. Does Oscar de la Rente make horse accessories? <laughs> All right. Sold to Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Are you done eating, Missy? Now she's not even here. All right. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was reaching for something. Okay. You guys ready for a dibble box? Excuse me. Okay. So everything is going to come in this box. 
And on this box, it says that it is a 1930s Belgium ten arrears tin. Don't know what that is. Ten arrears tin. Um, there's nothing on the bottom, but you get the box. <clears throat> you get the box with it. Awesome, you guys. 106 of you here. Okay, this is in it. It's leather. I was thinking about doing that as a one-off because it's so beautiful. I think it's probably a passport holder of some sort. But it's all leather. It's really beautiful. So that is in there. The Harley Davidson clip that no one wanted and bid, in, bid on. I put that in there. Um, this is in there. I don't know who he is. That came out of a storage unit of a man that collected a bunch of coins and things. So I don't know. This keychain is in there. Um, this li little vintage pouch along with this little vintage pouch and this little vintage pouch is in there. These also came out of the storage unit with the um, the coins and some of the cards. They're Yu-Gi-Oh Yugi cards. I, th I think is that is that how, is that what they are? Are they Yu-Gi-Oh? Like? Yep. Twenty five dollars to start, and I don't know if these are just regular or if they had some sort of meaning to him. But I stuck them in here. I did not look them up. Don't know what I have. Okay, those are in here. <clears throat> a little Swiss army knife, single blade is in here. Uh, Captain Morgan's keychain. Look at the dust. Ah, sorry about the dust, you guys. That's how I find things. Don't always wipe everything off. This is... Um, um, so I guess it's like... Army, Navy, POW. It's, I guess, all of the different um, forces. Um, this is in here. It's, I don't know, it's just like, it's an eagle. That's in there. This pin hurts. Number one, um, Daytona, 2009. What is that on there? Can you guys tell? Oh, that's an engine. That's an engine. Because I know that because of another one that's in here which I thought was in here. All right, well, we'll get to it when we find it. Um, this. Donna, can you hear me? Now I can. What was your start on this? 25. Harley Davidson Daytona 2001 is in there. Um, this is in there, and this says on it one penny, but it's the biggest penny I've ever seen in my life. And it says 1907. If you can see it, it's 1907. Looks like it has a Viking on it. <clears throat> this what's cooking pizza pin is in here. This is Oktoberfest 2001. Daytona 2009, 
two more of those coins. This coin says, um, I don't know if you guys remember the last one, but this one says 1900. That's a 1900 coin. And this one says 1910. 1910 coin. So you get those three coins. Um, here is a Mason's coin. And looks like another Harley pen. Harley Davidson group, H. G, I guess. HG. Another Daytona Harley Davidson 2002. I'm almost done. What's this one? Harley Davidson, 100 years. 100 years, Harley Davidson again. Harley Davidson again. This is untested. Looks like silver but it's not tested and I don't see a mark on that. You guys will have to test it. Official truck of Harley Davidson, 60th anniversary, the Ford 150. <clears throat> this ring is in there, but it is tarnished. You see it's tarnished in the back. So it's just a piece of costume jewelry. This Malibu surfboard and this Malibu surfboard is in there. Um, this necklace has a 14 karat gold clasp on it, but I don't know if the rest of it is 14 karat gold. It's not tested. But I know the clasp, the clasp does say 14 karat gold, and it's these pretty little beads. So that goes in there. And what else is in here? There's a little pair of scissors in here. Maybe a sharpening stone. Some belt buckles. A whole box of belt buckles in here. Just all old belt buckles. And that's the whole dibble box. I think that's everything. Oh, this is in here. This looks like a lamp finial. All right. Put it all back in so you get the coins. Oh, I just lost one of the pins in this box. I gotta get it out now, you guys, because if I forget, then it wasn't a coin, it was this pin, but I got it. I think the coins are. I think the coins are awesome. The three coins, the three old coins, and the, the cards, keychains, the little gold necklace. And where are we at? We have Shriker in at 44. All right. Awesome. 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 Let me put everything back in. Lots of Harley Davidson pins. And okay, let me just put everything back in. 
Don't forget about the, the eagle. And then this is this is so beautiful. It doesn't really fit all fit in the box, but close enough. And that's all of it. Vintage Treasures comes in at 50. And Shriker comes in at 55. All kinds of little treasures in there. Little treasure hunts. Paul comes in at 60. Shriker is out. Out, out, out. Paul's going to get it for $60. Going once. Twice now. Paul Suckling for 60. Lot number 19. Oh, Moni Love comes in at 65. Oh, no, she missed it. You're lagging, honey. It's already sold. Sold, sold, sold. Vintage Treasures yeah. gets it. Sorry, Moni Love. Vintage Treasures, Paul. For the Dibble box. For sixty dollars, awesome. Oh no, he says. Um, Greg says he feels like he's gonna pass out. He's got to go lie down. Feel better, honey. Feel better, Craig. Sorry. Let us know. Lay down for a few minutes and then let us know how you feel. I'm sorry you don't yes. feel good. Okay, let me put this down here. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring um, okay, I'm going to do these as a one-off. I don't know if they're glass. They may be glass. They sound like glass or if they're a stone. They're rosaries. I'm just going to, um, I'll show them to you. They're white. They're really beautiful. And I'm going to start them off. I think they say Italy on them. Let me just check. There's something on them. Did they say Italy on them? I thought I saw Italy written on these. Maybe it was a different pair. No, I don't see Italy written on them. Okay. Um, who wants a new new white rosary? I'm going to start it at $5. And you can see the stones have a little bit of flashing. So I don't know if they're natural stones or if it's glass. Good night, Scarlet, sweetheart. Be well, honey. Good night, Scarlet. Rhonda likes them for five. Anybody else? Should we give them to Rhonda for five dollars? All right, looks like we're going to give them to Rhonda for five dollars. Awesome, Rhonda. Moni Love is going to come in for seven. Oh, Moni Love, you're lagging, honey. You need to refresh. I don't want you to miss out again. 
10 from Rhonda. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. I wonder if Rhonda's buying them because they remind her of um, <laughs> Rise of <laughs> her mother or something. News break for Toilet Girl 2. The toilet at the local police department has been stolen. Cops have nothing to go on. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Moni Logan at 12. Okay, honey, no problem. Rhonda's now at 14. <laughs> That's very funny. That's a good one. You were a little bit, Moni Love, a little bit lagging. Yeah. We have to be careful how we say that, though, now. What, Moni Love? No, that we're lagging. Oh. <laughs> I don't want people to listen. Get it's like the humping thing. It's my verbiage. We say lagging. It's lagging. We don't want people to get the wrong impression of us. <laughs> do you hear about those two women? All they do is talk about lagging on their channel. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful what we say. Okay, Ron does it 14. Tammy's like, <laughs> <"Duh."> <laughs> Courtney's still here. <laughs> Why do you have to be careful? What's wrong with a drunk or someone that's slow? <laughs> right, Sandy? I agree. Well, there was another meaning, too, in the chat that was a little risque. I agree with it 100%, and I'm taking back my trophy. You Ooh, go, girl. You Sandy. go, girl. <laughs> Sandy's going to have to arm wrestle Monty for it. <laughs> All right, are we sold? All right, we've got Rhonda in at 14. Moni Love, just let us know if you're in or out. We got it, we got it. Moni, just let us know, honey. Barb Lee's like, what's wrong with lagging? We don't know, actually. <laughs> We have no idea <laughs> what's wrong with lagging. We have no idea. Moni Love, we'd love to he see an out from you just to confirm that you're out and not lagging again. <laughs> I'll just take a drink of water. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do personally, I think you should go get some fireballs since everyone's lagging. Oh my God. Did she the type it out? If someone calls you a lagger, is that a bad thing? I don't know. According to Donna's daughters, they have a different turn. My, my God, is Shelly, Shelly's teenagers or, or kids too. They, they, they said, mama, if they're talking about lagging, don't hang out with those people. Shelly, are you still here? She, she That's what she said. She, like, oh. Shelly's kids told her to get out of that chat if there's lagging going yeah, on. Yeah, she asked her kids what lagging meant, and her kids said, if they're talking about lagging, you need to get out of that chat. <laughs> All right, we're sold to Rhonda for $14. Thank you, Rhonda. It will go with your other pile of stuff I haven't sent out to you yet, sweetheart. But I will. I will. Not that all the Christmas orders are out. I will get on that ASAP. Get them all out. Um, T, do you want to go on? Did I Have I done three? I don't even know. I'm not keeping track. I, I don't know, honey. I didn't pay attention either. I'm ready whenever you are. All right, I'll put you on. You do, Nora? We learned ourselves. It's not like you're learning that from us. We learned that tonight ourselves. All right, I have a stack of Rolling Stone magazines, vintage Rolling Stone magazines, uh, December 2000. 20 shipped. Um, September 2000. So in this era, it looks like Rolling Stone. Um, <laughs> Kirk. Hey, Donna, you're really dope tonight. Oh, gosh. <laughs> she, she must have teenagers, too. This is um, 
Well, this is Giselle, but I'm not sure what the date is on this one. It's also 2000, I believe. I think a lot of these are either 98, 99, and 2000. So I'm not 100% sure on that one. Oh, yeah, that's a 2000 also. Oh, aren't they having fun these days? I don't know. There are enema parties out there where they do that crap. <laughs> that, that sounds like something that would come from Toilet Girl and not Janine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that is gross. <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely gross. You're ticking again. It's not even on. Hey, can you hear me? Now I can, yeah. This stupid setting keeps flipping back. I was telling you, stop. Don't read it. Stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Janine's oh. comment. Really, Rhonda? Oh, my gosh. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's going to be so bad for the intestines. Kids are doing well, that. Well, like them eating Tide Pods wasn't. Oh, I know. So weird. We live in such a weird world. Hey, bird. Hi, bird. Thanks for coming in. Why would anyone? I don't know, Barb. I, I don't know why anybody does anyone. This one, just full disclosure, this cover is really wrinkled. But it is YouTube. And I haven't been telling you the years, but uh, that is a 2000. Like I said, most of these are 98, 99, and 2000. Oh, my God. Ron. And if, if there's no interest, we can pass on them. If there's no interest, we can pass on them. Thank you, Bird. Yeah, something I'd rather not know either, Susan. True. All right, no interest will pass. We'll pass, we'll pass, we'll pass. You guys, if you haven't gone to one of Bird and Moe's um, Friday night auctions, Friday afternoon auctions, they go from six to nine, I think. Yeah, is the hours go over and support them and subscribe. They're they're a really really nice uh, couple. Christine B's in the house. Hey, Christine. Hi, Christine. I'm glad I. Hi, right, Christine. I'm glad I live a sheltered Me life too. too. Ditto. Me too, honey. Uh huh. I wonder if my son even knows what that means. I don't know. Yeah, definitely, Ronnie Chi. All right, another lot of DVDs. I think all but two are sealed. Um, there's like three Blu-ray and the, the ones that aren't sealed are two of the Blu-ray. And I think everything else is sealed. So you've got Shameless, the complete first season. And you've got this triple feature, Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, and Matrix Revolution. And I believe those are the only two in this whole lot that are not sealed. This uh, Blu-ray is blended and it is sealed. This is Twilight. Two disc special edition. This is, oh, this one might, is this one? Oh no, this one is sealed. This one is sealed. Twilight, two disc special edition. Definitely, maybe. Sorry about the glare. Because when they are sealed, they get a bit, a bit of a glare. Batman Begins, widescreen. Catch Me If You Can. Leonardo DiCaprio. 310 to Yuma. Did you say it start? 20. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mama G. $20 ship to start. Twilight Eclipse again. It's a different version, I think. Oh, this is the single disc edition. So there's two, there's two different ones in here. Pleasantville. Uh, 
dinner for schmucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Award winning series Hoosier Face Off. Hey, Christine Rose. Without a paddle. Bride Wars. Are you? Were you busy today, Christine? And Michael Clayton. All right. And again, all sealed except for the one uh, Blu-ray. Uh, actually, the two Blu-rays. There's three Blu-rays in here, and two out of the three of them are not sealed. But all of the regular DVDs, they're all brand new. And we're going to sell it to Michael for 20 Anyone else? Good evening to all of you fine folks, Mo. How are you? $20. We're going to sell it to Michael. Oh, Kai's going to sneak in at 22. Michael's going to go to 25. And again, all of them sealed except for the top two. All right, Connie's going to go out. They're going to go to Michael. Trust me, there are no animals in this house at the moment. None whatsoever. Just mammals. Just mammals here. Two large mammals. <laughs> oh, nice. We'll have yourself a little treat, Christine. I, I will absolutely do that, Michael. Absolutely. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. As long as you're good with it, I'm good with it, too. Okay. I wasn't sure we had a salt. We do. All right, let's check these out. These are sealed. We've got Grand Slam, Two a Days, the complete first season, Giants Road to the Super Bowl, and the new Yankees. We also have, these are sealed as well. These are individual. Um, this says 1977 World Series Game 1, 1977 World Series Game 1. Game one, so those are all the same. And then I think we have these three are the same. And even if you guys are not a Yankee fan, but you're a reseller, trust me, Yankee things sell. These are three of the same copy of Joe Torrey's um, Virtual Baseball Academy. And we'll stop this at 25. And this one is The Bronx is Burning. Includes episodes one and two. Again, those are all sealed. This everything in here is sealed. Everything is in here is sealed. This is look at the price on this, guys. The new Yankees Fall Classic Collector's Edition, 1996 to 2001. 
Um, I probably should have just left the football in a different lot, but I'm not going to. It's sports related. And for my resellers, all sports sells. Um, New York Giants, postseason collector's edition. Two a days. This is the MTV um, series, MTV um, complete first season of two a days, Hoover High. Then this one is Grand Slam DVD gift set. And it's got Bull Durham, Eight Men Out, the Jackie Robinson story, and the Pride of the Yankees. All sports related. And again, look at the look at the retail price on that one too. So, you know, probably over 200 plus better dollars that was paid originally for brand new DVD. It is a big collection, right? Rise up. Nice big collection for somebody. Or to resell. Nice reseller including the individual including the individual ones as well. Oh, and I'm going to include one more thing in here just because I want to. Just because I want to. It's a Division Series 2001 pin. Because I want to. All right, Larry, how are you doing, darling? Larry Darlin's in the house. Larry's in at 25. Any other interest? We're going to give this to Larry. 30 to Susie Q. Larry's in for 35. Thirty-seven to Susie. Larry's in at 39. Oh, rise up. I'm sorry, it's my laptop. I, I never had such a problem before tonight. Mama Chi, did my computer always make this noise, or is it just tonight that it's acting like this? It's just tonight that it's that loud. Wow. Let me see if I lower my volume or something. I just seem so weird. Yeah, I don't hear it now. Yeah, then I barely hear you, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You telling you all T has a kitty. No, unfortunately, Donna and I are in the same category when it comes to kitties. I'm not a fan. Sorry for all you cat folk. Larry's in for 43 now. I love dogs. We haven't had dogs in years. Um, don't want to really get one unless we come across something um, that we absolutely can't pass up and we might, there might be a possibility right now with that happening. I don't really want to get one until we move to the new house. I feel like the last dog um, that we had was so used to our old home and when we moved here. He didn't find his way back. He got out one day and he didn't find his way back home. And I don't know. It sounds like something on your desk is rattling. No. All right, Susie's out. We're going to sell them to Larry. Larry M with the steal of the deal. Yeah, it is. It's very sad. Rise up. Love that pup. Anti cat league. Hey, Chris the Goose. Hi, honey.
Chris the Goose, thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. You're a sweetheart. Thank you Aww, so much, Chris. Susan, I'm sorry. I hope you can, fun today. can Chris go to the corner? Okay. <laughs> oh, because he's saying he's an anti cat league too. I, Hi, I blame Larry. it a little Hello, bit darling. on my. Um, you're welcome, Larry. I do blame it a little bit on my thing, on my father. <clears throat> that the no. um, dog never came back. Oh no, not that. That might mean not being a your cat father? fan. You know, we've talked about it. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go through this lot really fast because it's going to be too long um, to really show the whole thing. All right. It's, it's all just stickers. Um, we're going to start these off at $5 guys, but I thought some of them were cool. All right. Charlie's angels. And, and again, I'm just going to do them really fast. Be cool. Perlini, I started them off at five. Janine came in at five. Perlini's at seven. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Oh, this, this actually is a garbage pail kid. This isn't a sticker. It just was stuck in here. But I'll include it. <laughs> I'll include it. Aw, casual flipper with the kitty. Dollar <laughs> forty nine kitty super sticker. Thank you, casual flipper. Casual flipper, thank you. Oh, is that what it is? These are garbage pail stickers. Okay. See, I don't I don't have kids anymore. I have no grandkids. I don't know what some of this stuff is. Those two are stuck together. That's cute. Beach Babes, admit one. Legends of the Blue Pearl. That's funny. Oh, God. Do you remember these? Donna, do you remember these? Where do we used to get these in? Smackers. Kissers. Super fresh. We used to get like they were like knockoff of the, the brand. Do you remember them? No, I don't remember them. Yeah, we it used to be like um like yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember wacky packages. Yes, thank you, Pammy. Wacky packs, yes, yes. Oh, maybe it was a Long Island thing. Only the Long Island people chimed in. <laughs> no, I don't remember them at all. Hey, Susanna. Hey, Susanna. Spike. Harley Quinton is at 17. <laughs> Wacky packs are still big, says Michael. Oh, okay. Michael comes in at 20. <coughs> Excuse me. 
that's funny. Welcome to my room. Now get lost. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Kimmy says they've come back. Uh, Jimmy says out and thank you. We've got Michael at 20. Okay. 22 would be the next bid. Who else was bidding? I see Harley Kitten. Harley Kitten, you want to come in at 22? Oh, thank you. Okay, let's okay. call it down to... All right, we'll call to Michael. Michael. See, Donna, they were like this. See this? Yeah. Those I remember, but not the stickers. And here, like this. Well, these are stickers. Pig Newton's pork chop cookies. <laughs> Funny. Yuppie chow. Oh my god, so funny. Oh, where's toilet girl? <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey Thelma, welcome in. Thank you for Hi, being on there. Thanks, everybody. 108 of you in the chat this oh, evening. Oh, I'm Happy sorry night. to hear that, Thelma. Happy Saturday night. Sorry, Thelma. Oh, we sold. We sold to Michael. All right. Thank okay. you, Michael. All right, honey. You go. Okay. All right, folks, I have another Dibble box. And in this one, you're going to get a collection of pens. And I'll show you what's Oh, in. this and that, you're lagging, honey. Hey, this and that, welcome in. You guys, take a moment to refresh while I start preparing to show this lot. Take a moment to refresh. And everybody, make sure that you're on live chat. Okay, I'm going to start it at $25. Um, the first item in the box is, I believe, is vintage. It's a cross pen, and it does have the warranty paperwork with it. Um, some cross pens, I, I don't know if this one in particular is, but some cross pens can um, hold a pretty value to them. Some of the older ones I know do. Okay. So you get that cross pen, and then you get Parker. Not probably as valuable as cross pens, but people do have uh, collections of these. So you have that. Then there's this Eversharp. I have no idea. It's just in the lot. Um, here, right, he's going to start us off at 25 these, I don't know. I didn't look them up. I can't see. Let me see if these are cross. Because that will definitely make a difference for you guys. Where am I looking? Um, they're called Esther. <laughs> they must be inscribed with somebody's name. I don't know. I don't know if they're cross or not, but they look like cross. I don't know if you guys recognize them. I'm not sure if they are. These I thought were super neat. Um, check this out. Wow. But look at how beautiful it's made. I wonder if it's Bakelite. I'm sure it is. 100%. It's so old. And it's the plastic is really awesome on it. So that's in the lot. This is a big lot, you guys. I'll try to go fast, but this is a big lot. And it's a lot of really nice stuff. This is super neat, too. This one is a military whistle. Oh. It's all brass. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's a brass military whistle. Stuff like this is rare. You don't just find stuff like this in any old, you don't find them out in the wild in any old thrift shop. <laughs> I love when she says that out in the wild. Out in the wild. <laughs> you can't find stuff like this out in the wild. What is this? This is made in the USA, American paper company. It's LEDs 
velvet leads velvet refill leads is there and then there's these pens and they all are inscribed Barb's oh. in at 32 this is another cross that's another cross pen michael's and in at 35 these are inscribed but are they cross i don't see the name on them okay so you get those four those four as well okay so you get the lead the pens okay we'll put these all back in here the two awesome whistles the whistles are amazing i love them right pearl naming me too <laughs> should i blow one of them no why you don't know where it's been. It's got to be sanitized. I could wipe it with a wipey. You guys want to hear it? No. Do you? Say yes or no. I have wipeys right here. We're both saying no. Who's saying no? Perlini's saying no. Come on, I want to. This old one. Look at all the no's. Ruth says yes. <laughs> Well, you and Ruth come cut from the same cord. Look, I'm wiping it with a wipey. Flipping it good says yes. All right, those of you that have sensitive ears, block your ears. Because I'm going to blow it. <laughs> oh, God, I hope Robin's not watching. <laughs> um, Yes, blow. Okay, let me wipe it off real good with the sanitizing wipes. Tammy says no. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Block your ears it's loud i didn't even give it a big blow <laughs> i gave it a little blow it's a lot it's oh boston <laughs> Hi. what's mama doing what is she doing boston came running <laughs> but look at how awesome i just love this one okay that's enough showing it i'm sorry okay and then the the two boxes Parker and Cross, and then I don't know if that's Cross or not. You guys will have to see. All right, and then in addition to that, can you hear me that, now? Yes. Okay. Is this Did, that's your whole box? <laughs> you want to say something? I, I did you. earlier, but it's okay. Um. <laughs> My earbuds are out. Sorry, Susanna. It was loud and I only went just a little bit. I only did a little bit. Um, this looks like a vintage toy. I'm not sure. Donna, your lava lamp is out. Oh, yeah. I unplugged it. I unplugged it because I wanted it to cool down. It's been on since morning coffee. Oh, okay. Is so this part of the dibble box? This is not the lava lamp. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is like a old vintage, like raggedy Andy squeaky. Why toy. is Pearl Nini asking? Are you having problems? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, Ginger Ann. Okay. Then I found another one of these. Someone bought one of these in a dibble box the other night, but I stuck it in this dibble box. So you get one of those. Um, and then you get this awesome little wooden box look at how cute that's made and it's got a seagull in it it's definitely very vintage and um i have no idea what this is wah, 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 wah. no i have no idea it says quick <laughs> <laughs> i i, I want to revisit pearl nini last comment <laughs> mama g could please <laughs> Could we could we revisit Pearl Nini's last question? Now? <laughs> <laughs> oh and I don't watch horror movies. I just know that from like one of the horror movies, like people were doing that all the time. I don't know if I should have showed the horror movies. <laughs> right? Sacramento, California. It's a quick clip, you guys. It's a quick clip. Right, Susan? It's for clipping quickly. She's really lagging. I'm not drinking, Susan. <laughs> I'm not. This is the high Dolores. <laughs> Donna, Donna, Donna. It's, I don't know. It's for clipping quickly, whatever that is. Okay. And I don't know what this is either. What is this? But they're in this little baggie. It looks like some kind of stamps or something. This one opens. 
What is this? Uh, how many bottles of Fireball left? Did you do your daily Fireball calendar? No. Are you kidding me? I can't. Perlini's lagging. So this the good says she's not drinking. It's whatever she got from blowing that whistle. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, you get this. Okay. I put this in here. Vintage I memory that... says sewing machine needles. No. Mm -mm. They're not sewing machine needles. Hey, Cinnamon's vintage seller. I found this in a storage unit. I was going to take them to a jeweler to see what it is, but you're getting them. This is how I found them. This is how you're getting them. I never get to the jeweler. I never get out of the house. You get an Empire State Building vintage cute little this is adorable right it's a little yeah. bell. isn't that cute like an old souvenir you get that then you get all of these do you know what those are yes fountain pen tips yep for calligraphy or writing barbara says the quick clip is used in basting and hand sewing Oh, you're kidding. Hand sewing? How do you use that for hand sewing? I don't know. Okay. So anyways. You're asking me, the non-crafter. I know, I know. Okay, so you get all of those. 25 things. now to Michael. They look like they're all really old. Um. Okay, so there's a story behind this vase. Someone's looking for that. It was their mother's. And it was part of the inheritance and they just knocked it over and broke it. And the husband feels really, really bad. The wife is devastated. So he's looking everywhere for it. It's a Lennox. It's old. He's only going to find it on eBay. Okay. This is a guitar bass auto timer. I have no idea. Storage unit finds you guys storage unit finds. That's how I make my dibble boxes. Okay, <clears throat> swear to God, I have not been drinking tonight. Swear to God. What's in this little um, film case is something that I think you can put this on eBay because I actually looked this up and there's people that have fetishes that collect these oh my god i don't want to know what it is oh <gasps> perlini hi talbert's mom <coughs> how did she know that i don't know frank, frank knew it too knew. it's teeth they're teeth A whole bunch of teeth. Some teeth are filled with gold and silver. You know that, right? Like, they're teeth. They're all teeth. That was a baby tooth. No, it wasn't. That's a big molar. I can't. I can't. This is one sick old crowd tonight. Listen to Barbley. <laughs> oh. I know. Tammy, I know. I know. I know. I know. Cooties, I know. But they do, they do sell. There's people out there that buy... Hi, Talbert's mom. Talbert's mom. Wow, what a greeting. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They're, they, it happens. So this one is... Um, so these are two dishes. This one says they're probably mid-century modern. I love them. I think that they're absolutely awesome. This one says cheese. And this one says lox. You guys know what lox is, right? Oh, yeah. Lox and cream cheese. Delicious, right? So I'm sure these are mid-century modern. These are awesome. I love these dishes. Love them, love them. And then there's a... Bling bling necklace in here. Hey, Edgefrida. Hi, honey. 
Hello, Ed. Thanks for coming in, honey. How you doing, uh, Elizabeth, honey? They sell fast, Ed said, teeth. See? And then there's this, I believe, is leather bound. Um, this looks like it's copper. And it is a um, Hebrew Bible. <laughs> Barb. Written in Hebrew. Okay, and that's the whole Dibble lot, you guys. You get all those wonderful pens, the costume jewelry, the, I believe this is mid-century modern. I don't know. It could be 70s. I'm not sure. The box, the ashtray, the quick thing. Yeah, so um, who? somebody wrote, Cinnamon wrote in the uh, chat. The tea. Um, shoot, my chat. Come on, really? The crystals, these crystal diamonds, whatever they are. The notifications on Facebook. I wish I could get rid of them. I don't know how to do it. And all of these wonderful pens, including those wonderful whistles. The whistle. So cinnamon says the quick clip end sore fingers reduces basting time and ends bunching. Use clip. Quick clip. It sounds like a commercial. Safety pins close of effortless. I have to say, I think the my favorite thing in this whole dibble lot is the um the whistle. The whistle is amazing. Moni love, love comes in for 70. Both whistles. You get a military whistle and then you get that plastic. Watch that plastic whistle. Okay, Cinnamon. No problem, honey. Whoever buys it, they're going to come back to me and say, I sold the whistle for $250. Michael says out and I wanted the teeth. Pammy's in at 75 Oh, you did, Michael? Because you know they sell, right? They do sell. Elizabeth says the lava lamp is sad, Donna. Okay, let's turn it back on. I won't be sad in a minute. I just wanted it to cool down a little bit because usually I turn it off after we do the morning coffee and let it cool down. And I forgot to this morning. 75 to Pammy. It's a great dibble lot. You guys awesome. Awesome stuff. Moni love is out. Okay. Let's put it right here. Yes. Probably. What's um, Barb Lee saying? Are oh, they, they really tea in the film container? Yes, honey. Uh huh. Yes, ma'am. This is my lot number 21. 1219. And it's a dibble block. Dibble lot. And it sold to. Looks like Pammy's going to get it for 75. Pammy. You're going to have to let us know how you make out on that whistle. <clears throat> and the teeth. And the teeth. The teeth, I know they'll sell, and I know that people look for them, but the whistle is so unique. <clears throat> and I Donna, didn't... if you ever find eyeball replacement eyes... <laughs> If I ever find what? Don't if you ever find why that. is Gail saying good deal on the Bible? Oh, because there's a Bible in there too. Oh, okay. It's it's oh okay. I missed the Bible. Yeah, it's a it's a Hebrew Bible, leather bound with a copper copper. Oh, oh yes, yes, okay. Glass eyes are big sellers. Wow. Dang, wonder what that crap ton of mo money's worth, what money worth of crowns and my mouth are worth. Well, I can tell you, I need to have a tooth replaced and a crown put in it. And it's not even going to be a silver crown. It's just going to be a composite or whatever it is. And they're looking for $3,000 for it. Yeah, they can wait. Okay. <clears throat> $5 start. It's very sweet. It's very little. It's delicate. It's dainty. It's a Where's June bug. She was looking for something like this. It's very, very sweet. $5 start. Serpentine necklace. It's all 925 silver. I think it's Italy. 
It usually is. Let me make sure. I won't tell you for sure. Yes, it's Italy, 925 Italy. And on the crucifix, it is 925. And then it has the initials. It looks like DL. And the cross does say China. Just beware. The cross is 925 China. I like to disclose that. <clears throat> the necklace is Italy. The cross is China. But it does say 925. Oh, it's a box link. It's not serpentine. Sorry. Okay, we started it at 5. Susie came in to 20. Thank you, Susie. It's really sweet. It's just very delicate. And small. It's very pretty, isn't it, Ronnie? Vintage Memories is out. Susie's going to get it for 20. Let's call it down to Susie. Can we get an out from somebody else was in? Yeah, thank you, Susan. Thank you, Susan. Susan's out. Okay, let's give it to Susie. Susie, I have a bag on you, don't I? I mean, I know I have, like, stuff for you, but were you buying single items the other night? Do I have a bag on you? Andrea. Mommy. Did she say yes or no? Does she remember? She didn't say anything. I have to find a better system. I'm working at it, you guys. I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure it out. She's saying no. Oh, she's saying no? All right. This is Julie Mars. All right. Oh, now you. she's saying from a couple of weeks ago? Oh, no. All the stuff. This is a new system I have. All the stuff from a couple of weeks ago, I have all put aside for you, honey. All ready for me to invoice and ship to you. Okay, I need to get another, um, let me get another bag over here. For Susie. All right. <clears throat> um, can you hear the Vikings? Yep. They're getting ready for a, um, some sort of manhunt game that a bunch of them are getting together and going to play, but I don't know where. So I need to like go find out where they're doing this manhunt thing that they're talking about. Oh my gosh. You hear them? They're crazy. It's so loud. Crazy kids. Okay. This is the next one. This is um, the crucifix. Uh-oh, Boston's getting upset because of all the excitement. Um, I'm not sure about the chain. Um, I think the chain is, but the cross is definitely uh, stainless steel. $5 start on the cross. Oh, he's really upset. Yeah, well, he's he's like trying to talk to them. Boston, Boston. He, that's, his, that's how he talks. He's not crying. Boston, come here, honey. It's just the kids playing. It's fine. They're just playing. Um, stainless steel on the cross. The chain's not marked, but it's a nice piece for a guy. Five dollars to start. Susan Arrington likes it for five. No other interest? We'll give it to Susan. Okay. 
Pammy comes in at seven. Pammy's at seven. Susan's at eight. She's taking a little break from um, YouTube, Talbert's mom. Sometimes people get like that. They need to take a little break. Pammy's out. Susan's going to get it. Susan Arrington. For $8.00. For the stainless steel cross. All right. No, don't be worried. She's fine. What's She's fine. No, nothing. Um, She just wanted to uh, just take a little break. Eight dollars, Susan Arrington. Oh, Mama G. Twenty-three. No. Um, twelve nineteen for the cross stainless. All right, I gotta go talk to my girl. So why don't you just um, come back on, and I'll be right back. Are you ready, T? Okay. You guys, don't forget to go over and give a thumbs up on the video. Thanks. Here's T. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. No, no, no. I... No, 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 no. Talbert's mom was asking where Susan Arrington was, and I responded with, she's taking a little break. That's all I said. Susan Stryker. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, because I was going to say Susan Arrington's here tonight. Okay. No, right. Susan Stryker. Sorry, 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 sorry. Why is Mary Ness in at $10? Because she's lagging. Sorry, Mary. Mary Sorry, honey, you're, you're lagging. And they asked if Frenchie was okay. Yes, Frenchie. I haven't heard from Frenchie. Yes, I have. Frenchie's fine. Thanks, Donna. Thank you, Donna. All right. Um. I don't know. Should we clean off the desk? Should we do the desk dibble? <laughs> I feel like we should do the desk dibble. You know, let's do these first. These are um, first day issue. First day issue. And we'll start these off at 20 shipped. Do you just call these envelopes? They're called first day issues. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, some of them just don't, don't like I'm used to a lot of them being stamped that some of them for whatever reason aren't stamped that. So I don't know if they're a little bit different. Did I miss the start? 20. Thank you. Oh, Mary Ness says I was on Top Chat. Oh, we should remind you guys about Top Chat also.
Um, you know what? I didn't talk to I didn't talk to Evil Lenny today, so I don't know. To be honest, did we see Evil Lenny this morning? I don't think he came in this morning. No. No, because me and Jen were wondering the same thing this morning. Yeah. I don't know, Joy. All right, if there's no interest in this, we'll pass. We'll pass on these. Pass on them. Mama G, let's just pass on them. All right. We're going to do the desk dibble. We're going to empty off the desk because it needs, it's, it's in need. It's in need of emptiness. In need of emptiness. I don't even know. I don't. I can't get it out. I. I'm, I don't know. We probably have to figure out how to get the money out. I have no idea what's in it. <laughs> no idea what's in it. But there are coins in it. I hope it's a jackpot for you guys. Um, a couple of of these packs. I sold a bunch of this stuff. Um, we'll throw those stickers in there. Some Smurf party horn, horns. How about this? These are official Harris Resort Atlantic City cards. They drill a hole through it when they're done with them. This is a souvenir silver spoon that says London on it. I'm putting up my keyboard to something. This is a money wallet. Haha, <laughs> because it has money on it. Because it has money on it. This is a vintage battery operated engraver. Here is a USS Investigator Award. Have a G R will pick it. I don't know. Something like that. Some some kind of vintage whatever. Some kind of vintage whatever. We've got a a button. Is that Kurt? I'm not sure who that is now that I look at that. I don't know, but it's going in there. Um, there is some, whoops, whoops. Classic film, classic adventures. Hey, kids, ask to see the, it is Night of Evil. Oh, we talked about, we talked about um, Sahara. That's what that is. That's what that is. Mm. Um, I had a bunch of loose cards here. I'll just put them all. I'll just put them all together. Um, one of them is in a plastic sleeve. It's Frank Thomas um, playing on the White Sox. I don't know. You guys can look this stuff up here. This is a football card. I think it's a football card. It seems awful thick to be a football card. Seems very thick to be a football card, but it is. Yeah, we'll put that in there. And there's just some random, there's just some random cards here, and I'll just include them. This is a, some kind of cartoon one. Um, something that says the Adams family on it. Here's another baseball one. Here's another football, no basketball, sorry. Uh, another baseball, another football. There is, what is this? Casper. Oh, there's some Casper film. I guess they're like film cards or something. There's a box of 2006 NFL player rookie premieres. I can't close the box. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they put these rookies in because they were, you know, 2006 rookies. They put them in this, um, put them in sleeves. So we'll throw that in there too. Then there's this little trinket box. There is this, whoops, Liberty, Liberty pin. It's in, still in the plastic. 
there's this little people, this little weeble wobble person. I don't know. I have a bunch sitting here too of just a whole um, thing of like some army, just some figures like these that I don't know what that looks almost like it could be Captain Hook. It is, I think, Captain Hook. A, um, is one, two of those. There's this guy with a shield. This, this guy with a rifle. I don't know, some of these do have some names at the bottom. That's an Indian. And then randomly in all the, all the, all the, there's somebody playing a guitar. So <laughs> this is why my desk looks the way my desk looks. So we're going to put all that in and I guess we'll get rid of what I have left in uh, DVDs sitting here. Uh, these are all sealed. This is weeds. The final season. This is mountain men season three. Oh, maybe that one's not sealed. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just these two that are sealed. Um, two from the Big Bang Theory, season two and season three. That was Paul McCartney playing the guitar. Oh, okay. Thank you. Just some random Winnie the Pooh stickers that are sitting here on my desk. I don't know. Oh, there's another DVD, a small DVD called Paul sitting here. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. It says Grip Master. It says Grip Master on it. I think you do some kind of uh, exercise with your fingers. I don't know, but I'm throwing that in there too. You guys can't have my microphone, so let's move that out of the way and grab what else I have here. Um, there seems to be some more cards here. Oh, they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so we'll put a stack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's what they are. Um, I don't know. They're, 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 I think they're all Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We'll throw, that's what the stack is of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We'll put that in there. Oh, it's good for Carpal Tunnel. Okay. There is a, this is a PlayStation 2, whoops, a PlayStation 2 8 megabyte memory card, Sony. I don't know. I don't know what's on there, but it's, it's there. Um, I'm not sure that this is working. Because I think it's broken, but you guys can test it out. It's It says Walt Disney's Lonesome Ghost, but I feel like this needs to be something on here. I don't know if it's repairable or not. If it's not, just let me know, and I'll toss it instead of including it in there. I have a couple of more uh, cards I'll toss in there. And um, this is a Samsung Galaxy S3 case uh, box. Some people buy these. Someone's looking for this. So if they have the phone, they want the complete. I think everything's in here. Um, let's see. This is a Zelda. It says Zelda on it. T, me, if I okay the gift to my Alzheimer's mother. She loves baskets. So peppermint tea. She loved a pretty mint foot lotion. Three pretty perfect. Tell me if I did okay with the... Oh, I, I thought you were saying tea. I thought you needed me for something. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome, Talbert's mom. Oh, uh, this is... Oh, switch and carry. I guess I guess it's a carry case for switch. I don't know, but we'll toss it in there. Um, here's a Sony remote control. It says for place... Oh, it's for PlayStation 2. 3. Okay, well, there's your remote control for that. If you need one, uh, a couple of cords that are here. I don't know. Maybe they even go to Stony Play. I don't don't have the PlayStation. Who knows? I may find it tomorrow, but that's okay. We will still um, we will still get it. All right. There is a a track cassette. Which is the real casual flipper? Do we have two casual flippers in they here? They both have wrenches, and there's nothing I can do, so. What's going on? There's two casual flippers? 
There's a casual for it's casual for the Donna dancing that was at Why? 32. This is just a little statue owl. Here's a twin tower. Is Casual Flipper bidding, Mama G? I think she they did were. in the very beginning. I only see one Casual Flipper. Casual Flipper, make a comment. And you guys didn't buy this this morning, so I'm going to throw all these cars, all these cars in um, as well. So you get all the cars and the fire truck. That's the question that only the real casual flipper can answer. Can answer. I only see one stop. Casual flipper just said, just wrote stop. Scroll up. Well, it doesn't matter if casual flipper says stop, then they are the ones who brought it up. And both of the casual flippers I see both have the dancing doll. So, which means they're your subscriber either way. So what makes you think that there's two casual flippers? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So, and, and all these cars guys. All right. I only see one casual flipper. Now they're saying vintage. Well, there's vintage memories and then there's vintage treasures. Oh, yes. And yeah, I'm yeah. watching that and I usually try to put Paul for vintage treasures so I don't mix it up. Exactly. Yeah. Vintage treasures is Paul suckling, you guys. Yeah. Hey, late night. 60 from vintage treasures. <laughs> Shelly's like, I see one T right now. I'm good. <laughs> um, you know what? I forgot I have this. Um, I don't know. Is this a Fabergé egg? I have no idea. It's like a marble egg. It's heavy, but I'm gonna throw it in there because I don't even. Know. It's alabaster. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge lot. You know why? Because I'm gonna clean off my desk. You know what? Let's throw these in too. Let's throw these, you know, we'll clean off behind us too. So you got one Kobe Bryant Pocket Pro. These are brand new. One Yao Ming Pocket Pro. And a bendable baseball figure, Bendos. We'll throw those in there too. I lost what was included in the lot. Oh gosh, really? Do I, you want me to go back through it, casual flipper? <laughs> go Tico if you threw in Rob I would take it haha -ha. he can cook for me <laughs> oh okay <laughs> well he was bidding you guys have me so confused now. Vintage Memories is in for 65 Yeah, it's a big lot. I know it's a big lot. I can't give you my magnet or my magnifying glass. You know what? I think this is like my last one. Salt scrub. I'll throw it in. Oh, and there is a Scooby-Doo VTech. Somebody's looking for this. One didn't have a wrench or a dance lady. I don't know. I missed it. I missed it. They probably realized they got caught and ran out of here. And another little... Oh, it's a turtle. Oh, look at that. It's a turtle. Desk is clean. Well, almost. Almost, almost, almost. I have this bowl. I can't ship this bowl. It's too heavy. But let's see what's in the bowl. Let's see what's in the bowl. How about this Winnie the Pooh? 
Look at this Winnie the Pooh cup. Or this Dodgers baseball. Or this Yankee 2001. I don't know. Tickets do sell. I'll throw it in there. Maybe you make 10 bucks on it. I have no idea. Um, I don't know. It's a play gun. It's a toy gun. And the rest of this is just, you're not getting any of this. It's just index cards and <laughs> eBay, eBay cards and some directions to something and the bowl unfortunately i can't include the bowl oh wait i got three more things i got three more things i just saw these in the corner let's throw these into i think i put some buttons in here already but here's some more um bell blaster great six flags great adventure gotcha It's fun to fly. Aviation champion. That's like um, like you put it around your neck, I guess. Yeah. Well, you know when you know when I clean out my you clean off my desk. Um, we just throw it in. We just we just throw it all in. When is mask day? Not sure what you mean by that. Vintage Treasures is in for 80. Vintage Memory says out to Paul. Okay, if you really want to go out, Vintage Memories. <laughs> Am I sure that is all? I could maybe grab something else. I could maybe grab something else. Hmm, I do have my eye on something over there. I could. I could, I could. All right, we'll go once to Vintage Treasures. And I had thought about putting something in there, but we didn't get the, quite the number that I was looking for. <laughs> we didn't quite get to the number for the wait, there's more. <laughs> We might have. At least no one asked you how many items, right? All right, we're selling it to Vintage Treasures for $80. Thank you, Vintage Treasures. Desk Dibble. Paul Suckling, thank you. All right, let me. I, now I got to move this big basket out of my way. Let's do some CDs. Let's do some CDs. CD, CD, CDs. Toad the wet sprocket. I have no idea. Amy's answering machine. I don't know what that is. Maybe somebody else does. Best of Tom Paxton. 20 best hits of the 60s. The Violent Femmes. Seed in the Sahara. Whole Celebrity Skin. Give a start. 20. Thanks. Berlioz Requiem. Lisa Loeb, Empire Records, the soundtrack. Israel turns 50. 
this is a double CD. Three CDs. Let's make sure. I think I checked. I did check all these. I did check all these. They're all here. Joan Baez. James Taylor. Bush. 20 best of the 50s. Bare Naked Ladies. Natalie Imbruglia. Keith Richards. Jackie Martling. Music from the Wonder Boys. And Billboard's Hot R&B Hits. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, technically 23 with the double DVD. Is there any interest? Nobody? 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 We're passing on it? Tough crowd tonight, guys. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you want. Oh, Michael's going to come in for 20. All right, we'll take it. All right, if there's no other interest, we'll sell it to Michael. Michael Whalen, twenty dollars. So, 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 so. Thank you, Michael. Donna, are you here? She's awful quiet. Is she eating her dinner? No, I'm here. I'm here. This, the house is really no, 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 noisy, so I, I'm, I'm muted. I've muted myself. All right, go ahead, honey. I don't know. How I don't know how many kids are here, but it sounds like there's a thousand of them. You're welcome, okay. Michael. Um, it sounds, sounds like they're dancing upstairs. All wearable. All different types of gemstones. <laughs> I feel like a gypsy holding these up. Frank said you were out opening another bottle of Fireball. No, I wasn't. I haven't opened any fireball. Let's start it. You can see that they're all wearable. Look at all this. It's like your own department store. This looks like one of those tribal collars here on the end. All beads. This one looks like it might be coral, maybe turquoise. I don't know. I feel like a gypsy. Who wants their fortunes read? What should we start it at? You guys start. What do you think? Someone throw a bit out there. Look at it. Even oh, it, Shrike, you missed that. I had that earlier this morning. CDs to Michael Whalen. All kinds of real pretty necklaces in here. They're not cheapies. They're all beautiful. Carla throws in a $5 bed. Donatella, I'm interested in seven. All right, we're at $7. Carla's like, well, you wanted a bid. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at all these beautiful necklaces. Like a whole department store. I decided to show them to you this way instead of putting them in a jar. Cricket comes in. No. 
Cinnamon comes in. No, Arrington comes in. 25. We've got Susan Arrington at 25. Hello, Autumn Grace. Hey, Miss Martha. So if you want to count on them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen pieces total. Eighteen. Eighteen. Let's do this one, 19, and this one, hematite, will be 20. The hematite is 20. So you get 20 total necklaces, 20 of them. We've got 20 of them. $2 increments, guys. What's going on all of a sudden? <laughs> Cinnamon came in for 34. Susan Arrington now at 36, looking for 38. Thirty-eight from Cinnamon. This piece is beautiful. Missed you too, Autumn Grace. I hope all is well, honey. Vintage Treasures comes in at 40 now. Isn't it Shelly? It is 45 now from tomorrow. It's very beautiful. It's very heavy, so I'm going to put it down for a minute. They're all heavy because they're all... 47 now from Vintage Treasures. They're all different stones. It's like holding up a bucket of stones. Stones and glass, I think. No plastic in here. Maybe some wood. Oh, my God. Do you hear them? <laughs> you hear them? They're wild. I hear them. I hear them. 100% I hear them. I think it sounds great. They're crazy and wild. I, mean, I have no I idea. I when the kids hung out here. I knew where they were. It was all good. I don't know how many kids are up there. It sounds like there's like 10. They're going on, out of Miss Martha. They're going on a scavenger hunt here in, in Palm Beach Gardens where they, they're going. They're piling in cars and they're going from place to place and like leaving a note to where to go to the next place. You okay. know, you, you've heard that before, right? Where they play that game. I've heard of I've heard of the game Manhunt. Manhunt, yeah. I've where heard they, of it. They leave clues like they'll go in like in a department store and yeah, they'll Ronnie G. I love it when it's that when it's like that. And they'll say like you know, your next clue like is behind the, you know, Prowl shampoo. I know there's no Prowl shampoo on shelves anymore. I'm just, I don't know why. <laughs> behind the Prowl shampoo and aisle number 16 and CVS on Hood Road, you know, like something like that. And they go from like place to place. Yeah, Perlini, they, they, they have a lot of fun, these kids. They do a lot of fun stuff. They're always on the go. Yeah. All right, we have Vintage Treasures at 55. Is there any other interest? Let us know if you're in or out, guys. We just need to know. They so still sell them proud. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know they still sell proud. Gee, your hair smells terrific. Do you and remember that shampoo? Them. And they tell two friends and so on and so on and so on. Or is that a different commercial? No, but do you remember the shampoo? G your hair. It wasn't a G. Your hair smells terrific. Yeah. 
I don't know what I don't know what shampoo that I don't know what shampoo that is. Herbal essence. Oh, herbal essence. All right, Tammy's out. Who's gonna get them? Who's the last person to bed? We're done and done. Um, twenty. Oh, they sell that one too, Elizabeth. Vermont County Store Magazine has it. Gee, your hair smells terrific. Really? Bird says I wouldn't know I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did we sell it? Vintage Treasures, $55. Congratulations, Ooh. Vintage Treasures. Thank you, Paul. Picking up the deals tonight. Needs to refurbish his store for the new year. That was lot number 24. Sold for $55. $12.19. All right. And, and it goes. All right, this is my next item. It's brand new in the box. It's never been used. Perfect for the new year. It's a Fitbit. A Fitbit. Oh, yeah, those are so well. Diet time is here. Yep. Brand new in the box. I'll erase the person's address that it went to. Um, let's start this off at $25. I don't know what they sell for, to be honest with you. I don't know if that's too high or too low or what. Can you see... Um like an item number or anything or to look up the okay so here's the connector and an extra band and here's instructions and Oh, is that right? Hmm. Didn't know that. Maybe that right there? Yeah, I would think so. Uh, Junebug's going to give us 25 for it. It's called an iFit, not a Fitbit. iFit. I don't know if that's different. Okay, June bugs at twenty five. No other, no other offer. We're gonna sell it to Miss Junebug. We're gonna go once. Let's go once to Junebug. Let's give it to Junebug. She wants it. I'm going to go twice to Junebug. Sold to Junebug for $25. Congratulations. Lot number 25 for $25. To June bug, awesome June bug. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, my next item is going to be this. This is Silpata. It's a heart, and it's nine two five silver, and it will come in this nice hard clamshell velvet box. It measures. 16 inches and I'm going to start this at $25. A Silpata has a great resale value and it's also very beautiful. There's the little Silpata emblem that's on it and there's a the little Silpata 925 disc 
That's $25 to start for the pretty heart. Bird says, Donna, you do a great job showing off all your jewelry. Oh, thank you, Bird. I told you, contact me. I'll I'll tell you about my my um Donna Loop. There it is. Are we gonna pass? Any interest, guys? Any interest? Let's pass it. Let's All pass right, it. We're going to pass on it. We're going to pass on it. We're going to bring it back another night. It's gone. It's passed. Okay. How about um, there seemed to be some interest um, in the rosaries. How about we do this beautiful, don't know, it's not plastic. It's blue. I don't know if it's glass or if it's some sort of bead. But it's another rosary, and I'm going to start this one at $5. And it is a St. Anthony. So people always say, pray to St. Anthony. There's your St. Anthony. There's your cross. Um, does it say made in Italy? No. Um, there's a St. Anthony. Pray for us. So they always say, pray to St. Anthony when you lose something. Right? So here's your St. Anthony. $5 start. Beautiful blue one. Any interest? Patron saint of cars. No, is it? St. Anthony? I've never heard that before. Have you, Catholic school girl? No. You didn't go to Catholic school. You're such a liar. No, I told you. I did 12 years of confraternity. <laughs> my, my parents made me go until... I mean, people stopped going after they made their confirmation. Not tea. Not T's best friends. We both had to go. Both our parents were like, "Nope, you're going." I went. I went to. I went to. Uh, you mean to church? No, to confraternity, like CCD. Oh, to CCD, yeah. No, not me. I stopped as soon as I got confirmed. No interest in the um, rosary. Susan Arrington's going to come in for five. Why, Susan? Because you don't have enough rosaries, Susan? <laughs> she maybe Susan. she needs a lot of prayers. Susan, seriously? You have like 25 rosaries. Maybe she needs them. Maybe. Maybe she needs a lot of prayers. Some people need a lot of prayers in their lives. St. Christopher is for travel, Shelley says. St. Christopher statue that you put in the car for protection. Yes. Because I'm still waiting, Susan. Oh, my God. I'm going to send you an invoice tomorrow. I'm going to send you an invoice tomorrow, and I'm going to ship out your order. Make sure you send it to the right address. <laughs> I have her right address. I have it. I have it. Because I'm going to call Susan the next time she buys something from me before I ship it out. And I'm going to make sure I have the right email address, the right shipping address, and everything. <laughs> and she knows what I mean when I say that. <laughs> oh, Christopher. Chris, your real name is not Christopher? Wow. And I call you Christopher a lot. You've never corrected me. All right, are we going to give this to Susan for seven for the rosary? It's so funny he just said that because today I was thinking about a really awesome um, <clears throat> question for us to ask for our next trivia. But I'm not going to say what it is or people will be cheating. So it's interesting because I always thought, you know, Ben, Massimo's best friend, 
I always thought his real name was Benjamin, but it's not. It's just Ben. No Benjamin. It's just Ben. Okay. I'm going to show one more. That's going to go to Susan's house. For you got cinnamon in at eight. Oh. Oops. Oopsie. Those were wind chimes that nothing broke. <laughs> it's a big box of wind chimes that I'm going to maybe get to tonight. We'll see. We'll see how late tea wants to stay on. Um, cinnamon is at eight. Susan, what do you I think? I can go whenever I want. You don't have to wait for me. What's that? I can go whenever you want. Oh, is it Christian? Christopher? Ooh. Is it? Is it Christian? Susan came in at eight. Elizabeth, quit being nosy. <laughs> Susan Arrington fixes it and says nine. Thank you, Susan. Or is it just Chris? Elizabeth says. All right, Susan's at nine. What do you think? Elizabeth puts the nose in the chat. Nosey. Nosey. <laughs> Cinnamon, what do you think, honey? Interrupt for St. Anthony. Your next bid would be um, 11. He wouldn't be the first one, Talbert's mom. We're going to close it to Susan. I don't know if you're lagging, Cinnamon. We're going to go twice. What happened to Cinnamon? I hate closing um, bids when people aren't responding. We're going to go twice. Out. Okay. Awesome. Susan, you get it, honey. Susan Arrington gets it for nine. All right. Back in the bag it goes. Okay. Here's my next lot. From what I understand, Legos are, tra are trending, you guys. I think they're using them with children with autism is what I've been told. And so I have a great reseller lot here of all Lego books. And I'll show you what I have. I have a lot of them. So if people buy Legos and they're missing the Lego books, here you have it. And they should be pretty easy to list. These are just the books, okay? So we've got Star Wars. I'm just going to put them all back in. Uh, street racing something or other this one is a i think legos like magazine i get i guess it shows i don't i don't i don't know what i have here i don't know what this is but anyways it's this here now let's start this off at uh 15 dollars there's a lot of them so i'm going to try to go fast Star Wars, Star Wars again. <laughs> There's some stickers. This guy did too much. So, uh, race car, little mini one. Here's a Scooby Doo. <laughs> this one looks like it's missing the cover. Sorry. Here's a Minecraft. Here's the city. Here's a Toy Story. Here's a Lego Tracer. Ra tra racer. 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 Here's some superheroes. These are pretty big books. You can see they're, they're pretty loaded. 
Here's another city and another city, fire truck, another city, bulldozer. I can't say that word. Another Star Wars. Another Minecraft. Ninja Go. I don't know how to say that word. Ninja Go. And here's Harry Potter. Here's Toy Story 3. Disney. Here's another Star Wars. And another Star Wars. And another Star Wars. Nice big lot of Lego books. And what do we have? We have fifteen dollars from Vintage Memories for the Lego box. Striker comes in at twenty. Striker. I don't. I didn't count how many are in here, but there's a good good amount. I'm not going to count them. I should have counted them while I was putting them in. But I was reading them off. I can't read off and count at the same time. I'm not that coordinated. Sorry. Triker's not my real name. <laughs> You can Google me. You'll hit like three pages full of Google about who I am, what I've done, my accomplishments. That's why I like using my real name. Oh, it's not missing the cover. It was just turned. So the one that I thought was missing the cover is not missing the cover. All right, should we call it? Oh, did I show you this one? The big magazine one? I don't know if I showed you that one. I think I pulled it aside and forgot to show it to you. All right, we're at 20. Are we done and done? Was it Vintage Treasures that was bidding or Vintage Memories? I don't remember. Vintage Memories. Did Vintage Memories say out? Hi, Donna and friends with hidden front names. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Becky. Hey, Becky. Vintage memory said out. I was eating. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. We're done and done. $20. Okay. All right, so it's going to Paul's house. It's going to Paul Suckling. Is Paul Suckling now Shriker? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Now you guys know how to confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Sorry, Shriker. Sorry, Shriker. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait. I'm confused now. Shriker, $20. <laughs> Okay, you ready, ready, Freddy, Freddy? Where's my mouse? Oh, I got it. Are you ready, T? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to straighten up a little bit here. I'm messing up my desk again. <laughs> I'm messing up my desk again. Brought some dibble stuff. Brought some ephemera for you guys. 
trying to see what some of it was because I haven't even really looked at much. This is, looks like it is a part for Harry in Brigadoon. So it's a screen, screeny thing. <laughs> this is a Superman from Superman Gum. $20 ship to start on this. There's some a lot of vintage photos in here. Some famous people. This just says Willie, Pep, and Walgast. You guys can see that. They just look like uh, two businessmen <clears throat> in Chicago <clears throat> or New York. <laughs> um, this says... A Night with Champions, a tribute to Willie Pep. Oh, Pep. Did, is that what? Oh. Oh, okay, T. Okay, I got it. So it's this guy. That's the, what this says and on the side of the picture. That's who this oh my is. Gosh. World Featherweight Champion. What? That looks just like my father when he was younger. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I know. I'm going to screenshot it and show you guys. That looks just, keep that aside when you're doing the stack. And, and I want to show okay. you. I'm going to show you in a minute. And it looks like a bunch of people signed the back of it. And it tells you when the, it was that Lombardo. Oh, it's funny. Donna, East Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, you're kidding. Lombardo's. You know how many times I've been there? It's a big function facility. That's so funny. Let me see these names on the side here. Danucci. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Huh. That's awesome. That's really awesome. So if anybody knows who that is, I only know it because I saw the name on the back of it. <laughs> Do you know who it is? I don't know who that is, but he's cute. What's his name? Oh, it's Ricky Martin. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's when he was cute. So this is from the movie Young Tom Edison. And that's Mickey Rooney who played the boy. And then there's this that has um, this is more Mickey Rooney in here. So this this there's this. And then and this one. That's John Forsyth. I'd recognize his profile anywhere. With Mickey Rooney and Barbara Nichols. God, I'm showing my age. It's bad. All right. I got to show them. All right. You got to go ahead. Go ahead. Screen. All right. Look at this. All right. Show them that card again. Show them that okay. card. Okay. Hold on. Tell me that that doesn't look like my dad wow look at that wow doesn't it look just like my father ears nose and all oh my god i mean this one he's laughing my father but but and this one this one here all right put yours oh hold on let me put let me put split screen let me see Oh my god it looks just like him and i have pictures of my dad that used to box and it look at it looks just like them doesn't so, it yeah it's crazy maybe 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 he was an undercover boxer and he's my dad boxed, was willie my maybe dad he named himself willie pep i don't think so but my dad boxed in the army he was in when he was in the army he was a boxer i have pictures of him i'll have to dig them up that That's he was funny. a boxer
this is red skeleton and um I don't remember who the other one is. Oh, Mickey Rooney. It's Red Skeleton and Mickey Rooney again. Yeah, right, Tamara? Maybe a stage name. He did I'm not sure who these two are. <laughs> if anybody knows or wants to, um, they look familiar to me, but I'm not 100% sure. That's now, cute. there's no staining on this picture that you can see from the front, but there is a stain on the back. Hmm. Lee Majors. These are all press photos. Here's Mickey Rooney in the young Tom Edison movie again. I'm not sure who that is. Is it Philistilla? Louis Armstrong. Oh, Barb Lee you, or Al Jolson. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Douglas Fairbanks Jr. I don't know if that's a real signature or not, or if that's just the way the picture is. This is... Um, this is just an article, but it's signed by Pat McCormick, who did the double-double, I guess held the record in skating for a while. It says the stylish Pat, stylish Pat McCormick has seen her Olympic record remain intact for more than three decades. And I was thinner. Okay. Louis Armstrong. Okay. Chris the Goose is the high bid on this. All right. But that that's another picture of him. They are older, Donna. You see him in the in the hat and coat? Yeah. Yep. Did your father own that coat and hat? It's so funny because my dad came to the United States two years before we did. So that could be my father. <laughs> So funny. All right. That's what you're getting, guys. Twenty seven from Shriker. Al Jolson was white. Not Diller, I don't think. I thought Al Jolson was black. Also, he was born in Middletown, Connecticut, where my mom lived. Loved the way they dressed back then, right? So classy. So classy. Yeah, I, I could believe that that might be Phyllis Diller. I could believe maybe that is. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Donna's father. <laughs> Donna's father. <laughs> it is still all right, Carla. I'm going to pull out a picture of him boxing, and you guys are going to like die when you see it. So funny. Who's that guy? Uh, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Mm. I'm not sure who this is. Who knows who this is? It's an actor. It's not somebody who's really military because you could just tell the way the photo is. Mm -hmm. So it's a movie. It's it's definitely from some movie. Everybody likes Lee Majors. The Bionic Man. Right, and and then I'm not gonna take this out again. That's the the pictures of Mick, Mickey Rooney and um, who else was in there? I forgot now. Forgot. All right, we're gonna sell it to Schreiker.
keep losing pens. I keep losing. I got to get a better system. I swear sometimes. My husband would have a fit right now. He came up to try to help me put some stuff in boxes. It just was. Guy in uniform played in Gunga Din. Oh, okay, Frank. Thank you. All right. Sold to Schreiker for 32. Thank you, Schreiker. That pen's no good. That pen can go bye bye. All right. I don't know why I put that there. Let's see. Um, let's do this a little lot. I, I grabbed these couple of CDs, um, DVDs rather, DVDs. They're DVDs, yes. Um, That's so funny. I always get that confused too. CDs and DVDs. Right. I always no, mix these them are up. DVDs. So they're just not movies. I And there's only five of them here. We'll start the bidding out at $5. Um, this one is sealed. It's Lady Gaga, the Monster Ball Tour. It is sealed. This is the Up and Smoke Tour. Um, it does have a parental advisory. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad, Amy. Pink Floyd, The Wall. This one is... Hi, Amy. Thanks for coming this in. One sealed? Yeah, this one is sealed too. This is sealed. Mariah Carey glitter. This one is not sealed, but it's fully intact. And this is Special K 10 minute workout solutions. I know you say T, you should keep that one, but I'm not keeping it. But that's it. Five dollars. Who wants to start it? Why you don't think you have time to work out? Is that why you're not keeping it? Can you hear me? First of all, I can't even get to my DVD player right now. Seriously. Seriously, seriously, seriously. You got a reseller's but house? Anybody who wants it sealed, it's, uh, you know what? If you're a reseller too, first of the year, everybody will want that. Michael's in at five. Shelly, I did work out yesterday. Aw, thanks, Barb Link. Pammy, come That's in true. So true. So true, so true, so true. I have a great Lady Gaga. Hey, Kim. It's about to get real. Hi, honey. Hey, Kim. Good to How see you. Heart? I'm like, right, Elizabeth? <laughs> hey, Lo. Every time I say this, like, hello. Hey, Lo. <laughs> hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Eleven to Michael. Mm -hmm. Oh, do tell Kim. What are you changing clothes for? I just dropped in to check it out before I have to get ready to change clothes. Maybe she's going live. And she wants to get all gussied up. Kim, are you getting gussied up? Do tell, Kim. Do tell. Why are you getting gussied up, Kim? Oh, she's on Kathy. She's on KK's. Oh, that's right. I that's, forgot. Gonna... that's right. Guys, don't forget. Kathy tonight at 11. That's in two and a half hours. 
It's in an hour and a half. It's 9.20. Oh, I thought it was like at 11.30 or something. No, 11. <laughs> Gussied up. What? Put on a clean t-shirt? <laughs> Tell her it's <laughs> mom. He's getting gussied up. Okay. Did you sell it? Did you sell it? Did you sell it? I can't even put on clean underwear. I even put on clean underwear. <laughs> All right. Vintage treasures in for 17. We're going twice now. Oh my gosh. I used the word gussied up and someone thought I was crazy. Right, Elsie? <laughs> I love that word. It's one of my favorite words, gussied up. Yeah. All right. We're sold to Vintage Treasures. Thank you. Okay. So Lady Gaga, right? I want to share with everybody. Hold on. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to put you back on, but hold on. Okay. All right, you guys, watch this. Hold on. Oops. Oops, I just lost it. Oops, hold on. Oops, I just lost it. Ah, hold on. What happened to it? God, I hope I didn't delete it. Oh, here it is. I hope this doesn't get you demonetized. No, it won't. It won't. Listen. That's what she said. I why was Donatella Versace there? No, I had no idea, but I I um Googled my name because I do that. I Google my name sometimes. Um, or I may have been on YouTube. Um, I can't remember. And I came across that that video, and Lady Gaga wrote a song named Donatella. Oh, you're kidding. No. Oh, wow. No. I didn't know that. I had no idea. It's like eight years old or nine years old. Do you guys know about it? It's so funny. Yeah, it's called Donatella is the name. And it's about Donatella Versace. She wrote it about Donatella Versace. But she comes out on stage and she's talking about how she's getting ready. Da, 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 and her phone rings and she's like, Donatella? So it's kind of hard to hear it over the computer. But um how many times have you Googled me? Never. I never have Googled you, but I will since I know your last name. No, I only Google myself, <laughs> Google other people, but um, yeah. So funny. Okay. You're back on. Go ahead. I just wanted to share that with everybody. <laughs> I did my three, honey. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So I'll come back on. All right. So Oh, look at Edgefrida just, uh, he sent it to me. Let's see what he sent. I don't know if I can play it. Yeah. How did she do three? I don't know. Didn't I? I, don't I have. That. Yeah, see, look. Oh, maybe I didn't. I don't look. know, Mama G. Lady Gaga Donatella. That's the name of the song. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Edgefrida just sent it to me. Yeah. I <laughs> think I should call her and ask her if I can um, use it in my um for a trailer <laughs> i think lady gaga will let me <laughs> i don't think so maybe she sees my name is donatella maybe i don't know <laughs> fireball time chris the goose chris the goose no know. kim you did not win the dvds honey <laughs> bam it's a belt buckle five dollar start Five dollars start on the belt buckle. Who wants a Harley Davidson belt buckle?
And included with the belt buckle. LC comes in for five. Will be, I believe it's a keychain. It's an engine. But it's missing the. Um, Shriker's in for 10. I mean, you could probably put this like on a on a backpack or it's Kim's got, in for 12. It's got the little round thing that you can, you know. So these are the two pieces that you get. And is this Harley Davidson like stamped? I don't see that it is. Arbley's in for 15. But I don't see Kim's that. It's in it for is. 17. But those two pieces. Kim is in at 21. I think everybody's out. I think Kim wants them for 21. All right. We're going to go once to Kim. Goose didn't say out. Goose. Goose is out. All right. Going twice now. And with a fair warning. About to get real. Harley buckle and keychain. That's what I'm going to call it, even though I don't really know what it is. Um, what did we get for a bed? $21. $21. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. Kim comes in and she's like, boom, I'm buying something. I'm buying something. Something, something, something. Wow, still 101 of you in the chat, you guys. What an honor and a privilege to have you all here. Thank you. Honestly, honestly, honestly. All right. Um, hold on. Kim. That was lot number 28 for $21. Okay. All right, I'm going to do these wind chimes. <coughs> Let's see if we can get them out of here. They're all, I think, I think they're all dolphins. So here's the first one. That's, it's new with tags. It's a Yay! Story. What's the matter? What are you saying yay for? Oh, man, we finally got a poop. Thank you all for your help. The other night she blew through two diapers, but is still fighting to go. All oh, right. poor baby. Awesome, evil Lenny. Oh. They've been asking all night, Lenny. Okay, here's the next one. This one's tangled. I'm not going to untangle it. Oh, maybe I am. It's coming out easy. Um, let's start this lot off at 20. All right. I'm not going to untangle it, but this is like jewelry. <laughs> it's like jewelry. Yeah. Ah, this one feels like it's aluminum, but it, it's got a nice tone tune, a nice tune to it. Okay. So there's that one. Um, it's got this down here. Okay. So that's number two. This one is number three. They all have a different tone to them. 
This one's number three. And this one is a little one and it's number four. Number four. And I have this cookie jar. Listen. It needs batteries. It was just doing it. Probably needs batteries. There's that. And then there's there's this. I have no idea what it is. It's got like a velvet bottom. It's really dirty and dusty. It looks like a brass piece, but it's a dolphin. I don't know what you would do with that. Maybe a phone holder? No, it's too old to be a phone holder, but I have no idea. But there's that. And then there's this, which is brass also. And it's, you know, the holes are for the screws and it's to hang your your keys on. And then finally is this one and it's tangled also. And that's the whole lot. So you get the cookie jar, the key holder, this, which I don't know what it is. I don't think it's an ashtray. I have no idea. So it's one, two, three. And then you get one, two, three, four, five. Five wind chimes. Aren't you glad that's over with? <laughs> Raise your hand if you're glad that that's over with and done with. Honestly. <laughs> because God knows I'm glad it's over with. <laughs> oh, it holds jewelry? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right. Dolphins. <laughs> Times. Who's bidding on it? I wasn't even looking. I was too busy trying Kim. to untangle. Kim, Sandy Kirk. Michael Whalen. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I kind of missed one too. Boy. I only saw the first one. I only saw the first two, actually. Oh, really? You didn't hear all the different <laughs> ones? Can you please bill me and send to Sandy Kirk? Oh, how sweet. Can My ears are still ringing. I know, right? Send to Sandy Kirk. Thank you, Kim. And how much how much did it sell for? I don't even know. 40. 40. Thank you. All right, and the wind chimes are out of here. Okay, how about this? I believe this is rose quartz. Um, it's on a just pretty. Just Jackie said I had to dial the volume back just a tad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see who's texting me. Okay, um, it has some sort of like something on it. I don't know what. Um, oh yeah, it's like a face or something. I don't like know. fossilized. Oh, almost. Is it a rabbit? I don't know. Yeah, it's a rabbit. It's a bunny rabbit. Oh, it's a rabbit. It is a rabbit. That's good eye, T. Good eye. So it's a it's a necklace. It's a pendant on this. Five dollars. Five dollars to start. For the heart, rose quartz. Rose quartz a pendant necklace with the bunny on it. Anybody want it? $5 start. No, nobody, nobody, nobody. We're going to pass on it. 
Let's pass. We're passing. All right. I'm going to show you something. I struggled with bringing these, but I'm going to bring them. The reason why I struggled is because I found these in a storage unit. Ronnie G wants it for five. Ronnie, you can have it for five, honey. I also have a question from Barb Lee. What is that? She wants to know, since the people that are in the chat random or frequently, do we send an email every time for a lot we win? We, we prefer it. Okay. Oh, it Cinnabon makes it so much easier for you, right? What's that? It makes it a lot easier for you. Yeah. Yeah, if they can. If they can, it does. Um, so I said Ronnie could have it, but then Cinnamon comes in at five. So what should we do? Well, we didn't, we didn't pass on it. We didn't say out and we didn't say sold, so... I did Cinnamon, say pass. if you want in, it's seven dollars, honey. I did say pass, and I did say Ronnie could have it. Cinnabon, I feel bad. I opened my big mouth. That's why I've got to wait for like T and Mama G to do it. Now Ronnie says, "Let Sin have it." Hmm. <laughs> Um, thank you, Ronnie G. Thanks, honey. For, um, seven, right? Okay. All right. I'm going to bring one more thing. T, it's up to you. If you want to go on, I'm going to probably sit the rest of the night out after no, that. No, I'm done, honey. I'm You're done. You're done? Okay. Yeah. Um, I found, I found these in a storage unit. I'm going to be honest with you. I looked them up. Couldn't find them. They are marked 925. They're untested. Buy at your own risk. I did not test them and I couldn't find them anywhere online. So they say right on them, if found, what's it say on them? Please return to Tiffany and Company, New York, 925, is what they say. And I'm going to start these off at $25, and this is my final of the night. They're beautiful. Yeah, I couldn't find them, though. I couldn't find them. And they were black and I tried to polish them as much as I can with Jill's trick with the toothbrush um, and toothpaste. Nice. I feel like she's not here. Did she have a Christmas party or something? No, she's probably over at Pirates. Pirate, Pirate's probably still on. He's doing probably another marathon. Do they have a serial number? They have nothing. They have nothing in the back. They have nothing in the back. And that's it. How much did you say to start? I said 30. Thanks. Hey, Dave Jackson. Oh, pirate is over. I, like I said, I looked, I couldn't find any, anything that resembled them. So just Jackie's going to come in for 50. Woo, I can't get them to sit still. There you go. Can you show, they want a closer look at the wires. Yes, Absolutely. Oh, right, right. Jill's going to be on KK's too. So we're going to make sure you guys go over to Kathy for 11 p.m. And Jill says that's not her cleaning method. You told me to use toothpaste. 
Jill, didn't you say you use toothpaste? Who told me to use toothpaste? Plus, Kim's like, what are you wearing? Both wires, please. Why, can you tell by wires? Like, what's up with showing wires? Does any, can you guys tell me? I don't know, but Jill said someone else told you that. I think if you show the wires, it can tell about the silver solder or something. I don't know. That's just my guess. Ronnie G said, I said you can use an old toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh, Ronnie G, thank you. Sorry, Joe. Um, did I say I was going to put a reserve on these? No. We can't drop links in here, Barb. I'm sorry. Thank you, Late Night, for being right on top of my every word that I say. <laughs> Tammy said, no, you didn't either. I meant to say it. I'm human. I make mistakes. I'm sorry. Well, Kyle, the party's almost over. Where you been all night, sir? All right, let's sell it. It came with the Tiffany bag, though? Yes. Hmm. We got a $50 bid on this, guys. Looking for $55. Did you give us an ounce? Did you give us? Oh, you don't have a scale. I do. I do have a scale. No problem, Donna. Who's, um, oh, what is Ronnie saying that? Did she put the bid in? Oh, toothpaste scratches metal, especially silver. Causes it, cause it, cause it is softer metal than gold or platinum. The wires may have a mark, mark maker's mark on them too. Jill, I, I, I know your method does not include toothpaste. I read that, that it wasn't you. It was Ronnie. Just Jackie, yes, I know. I didn't put a reserve on it. It's seven, seven um, grams. Seven grams of silver. All right. Any other interest? Adios, guys, Ronnie. Where are you going? The wires look different. That's why I asked to see them. Those are the wires. Oh, they are different. Look at, she's right. You see them? Oh, yeah. One's missing the ball and the wrap. They almost, huh. look, they almost look like they're two different earrings. Yeah. Oh, no, they're not. Just one of them looks like the wire maybe was replaced on it. That's interesting. Okay. Jackie, if you want to retract, it's fine. It's up to you. Whatever you want. Damaged goods. Yes, late night. Damaged goods. Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> Use an eraser. I don't have an eraser. I promise I'll go to CVS tomorrow and buy a pencil with an eraser. I don't have, I don't use pencils. Those balls and springs can come off sometimes. All right, come on, you guys, let's close it. Jackie, make a decision, honey. You want it? You don't want it? Let's let's close it. This mama bear is tired. Sandy, can I can we talk tomorrow, honey? Um all right. Right after gonna... coffee, Sandy, tomorrow morning. I'm so tired. Sandy Kirk, T, can I call you after this? Yes. Yes, just Jackie. Yes. Yes. 
Thank you, Just Jackie, for retracting. <laughs> I don't mean that in a mean way, but thank you. All right, I'm bringing, look at T. Look at T, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's like that. <laughs> in the back. Casual flipper. T is fading. T is still fading. Look, even my hair is fading. <laughs> she's, she's exhausted. Now we have 112 people in the chat since Pirate went off. Some people came over. Thank you, just Jackie. And I got your message. It's really cute. Thank you. Um, get some rest, ladies, Barb Lee says. We will. And we will see you here. In Guys, the if you're up, go, go over to KK's, please. Kathy's Corner. Good night, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Brian. <laughs> he must have been lurking. Oh, Good night, Brian. Mr. Buys a lot. Brian, you never called me today. I don't know what your plan is. Let me know. Text me. Oh, or yeah. Brian, that's going to depend a lot on our plans. You need to call her or text her and let her know. Um, 12 hours sleep in four days. Kim. What happened? I feel for you, T. I'm running on 12 hours of sleep in four days. Kim, you can't do that. <clears throat> Ed said your husband's video on the lasagna was good. Ed, your Frida. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the way out. We'll see you for coffee at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then T's going to decide the schedule for the rest of the day when she talks to Mr. Buys a lot. I will be on tomorrow night. <coughs> My regular scheduled nine o'clock hour. I'll bring you some nice stuff. All right. All right. Good night, guys. Mama G, thank you. Mwah. <laughs>